Well, to be I'm fair, not. I, I kind of agree with the AI. Humans are kind of trash, right? All they do is destroy. <laughs> they're that's, just leeches. That's every AI story, though. So, like, okay. I don't see so like, I, I, I can kind of see it, right? I think, I think the Avengers movie fucked me up, right? Because ever since Thanos <laughs> and the Joker came out, like I've been kind of feeling these villains, you know, like their <laughs> ideology. Like, yeah, yeah, humans are kind of trash. We need, we need something to happen, kind of like a reset oh button. Who's yeah. one of those? One of those within a society, guys. I am. <laughs> I am. What can I say? What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Itzakaya podcast, week 10 of the spring 2021 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello. Next up, we have Ku. Hello. Finally, we have Justin. Hey, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, some quick uh, anime news we want to get through real quick. Um, so there's going to be an announcement this weekend for Joshua Senki, or Saga of Tanya the Evil. So we're all. Oh, I'm assuming it's a season two announcement. So we'll see what that brings. Um, okay. Yes. <laughs> Other big one. Um, the the Wonder Egg Priority episode, the final one, got aired June 29th. It's gonna be an hour long as well. So I know these Thank guys are looking God. forward to it because they're watching. They need it. it. We need all the answers, and I, I don't mean, even know if an hour is gonna be enough to get all the answers from where we I'm, left off. <laughs> I was just about to ask that, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will leave it at that. Is Might be biting got, our tongue. Is it even gonna be an hour? Watch it be like forty-five minutes because of like. God, watch know. it, yeah. Right. Damn it, David. You gotta have the recap <laughs> intro, and then you know it's nice, drawn-out credits. Can you imagine we'll what we can get? Oh. Can you imagine like thirty minutes to recap the intro of the ending? Oh, dude, then, I mean, like... that's my biggest actual pet peeve of like anime movies and other things when they have to recap like uh-huh. the entire series, and it's just like. Come on, if the people that are there watching it, like, they know what happened. Like, why are we doing this? Like, yeah, this can't be a recap, though. Yeah. Right? But, yeah. I'm just, very I'm true. just joking. We'll <laughs> hey, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Like, and then... Even five minutes is too much. <laughs> <laughs> and then the only other thing I'll just mention is that um, uh, Gundam Hathaway is coming on Netflix for all you Gundam fans. So look forward to that. And then yes, I'll just uh, keep reiterating this till uh, the end of the season. I think we have like yeah this episode and two more episodes we're we're gonna uh, switch format for our spring season so we're not gonna do weekly uh airing uh, discussions of the things that just aired we're gonna start just doing one show per episode so just more of a focus talk and then but uh if you still want to hear our thoughts on the weeklies you can join our discord uh we have that at link in the description so so we're we're doing that right now with like our current shows and i think it's, it's i feel like it's been pretty good so far so so yeah, so we'll still be keeping weekly, just like we're not gonna do weeklies on the the anime podcast. So, so we'll do that starting next season. So look forward to that. Um, we'll probably we'll do like a spring preview, a summer preview for the first episode, and we'll see how it goes from there. Yes. So so that's uh, a lot of the housekeeping on the way. It's going on to our main shows. Talked to the, about the first one, Megalo Box. Dude, I hate that guy. I hate that tech guy so much. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, when he, he showed up at the the banquet dinner announcement and stuff, I was stupid like, ass tap that dick shoes. <laughs> where where's where's the hitman sniper when you need him? Just take him out. <laughs> Dude, there was a part that was I was I'm sorry. Go ahead, David. No, I was like, he really upped like the the, the scumbag factor this episode. I mean, it, like it's like still that one episode. Like I still hated him the most. But even like that guy, like his response when that lady was just saying, "Oh, like he's reaching like dangerous le- levels," and he's just like, "So I'm thinking this motherfucker." Yeah, he's it, like. Hit the button. Uh, oh, yeah. But I, 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 I kind of want, I was kind of actually hoping that, like, I hope his death is actually by Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Mac time. Like, yeah, not even Mac time, but just like, because when he picked him up, I thought, like, yes, Mac, this is where you could end his story. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, but it didn't happen. No, I think Man. best case, they'll obviously reveal, like, the truth of the, the software, and then he'll get thrown in the slammer or, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, again, yeah, just like all these Silicon Valley parallels, man. You got yep. falsified information. You got this guy who just thinks like he's like the best thing ever. That uh, he had made this new technology that's gonna revolutionize the world. He's he's what was it like trying to justify the the dangers of his product by saying, "Oh, you're just, you're just one 
anomaly. You're holding back progress. It's just, mm -hmm. oh god, just so much. I just, I just hear so much of like of like Facebook and like Mark Zuckerberg and or or, or, or Elizabeth Holmes and like Theranos of all this. Like, yeah, I like how the keys has that ended for her. <laughs> but I, I like how they like they mention that stuff and then they like uh, his wife is saying, oh yeah, by by the way. That uh, once you actually have this stuff, you can't actually remove it. But if you do, you're basically just a vegetable. I'm like thinking, okay, that's uh, that kind of sucks. Yeah. How do you feel about you know the decision that uh, Max's wife made? Do you I don't think blame it's, her for it's still it. like no, it's selfish she, or she, 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 she's yeah. taken advantage by the guy. So I don't I don't blame her for mm -hmm. it. And she's like well, for her son. Her, so yeah. Well, in her mind too, she gets them both back. Um, but even though there was, we found out there was a chance that it's that he could have easily got his like, treatment. Oh yeah, yeah. Which, it's one, which I'm well, assuming it's, it's one of the things ahead. where it's like he's like he can get the treatment, but he won't be a boxer. So she was, she's she trying her best to look out in the interest of everyone. It's just like it didn't work out that way, and also, yeah, like it's she got manipulated. So it's like I can't blame her. Like it, it all goes back to the CEO. He's like again, bring up the scumbag yep. factor up this episode. <laughs> so definitely, definitely. I think they didn't actually say like what her like what their son has, but I'm assuming it must have been like some time like a timely manner thing where he probably they said the, the, the organ like transplant. Yeah. So okay. yeah, I mean, other than that though, I, I think the the big thing that I'm kind of worried about is like is is Joe gonna make it out of this in one oh, piece yeah. or do you Death think leg, they're gonna? Man. <laughs> Death yeah, man, like. <laughs> I don't want this to happen. Like Joe can't die, but they keep, yeah. they keep saying they're it's like drawing it that way. <laughs> they say it's gonna be his last fight. So, yeah. oh uh, man, we, we got I, like more of his backs. Oh, sorry. Go, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say, like, I know a lot of these have, or this series, you know, came about as a reference to Asha, Asha no Joe, no. and and I don't know yeah. how that series ended. Hopefully, yeah. uh, still, I, I don't going, think Joe it? died or anything. Oh, it's, or? An old, it's an old series. Right. It's a oh, super old series. There, there's oh, Haj Hajime no Ippo, which is that's like another that's, spirit. That's the one that's going. But like when um, when uh, when the first season of Mega Box, I was like that was like the 50th anniversary of Asha no Joe. So yeah, so I never never watched that show, but I know mm. you know the impact that it's had in the boxing space for this medium. So hopefully you know nothing happened to uh, Joe in in that series, and they're not trying to do you know a, a nice little homage of sorts, but. No, to your points, right? It's just like death flag, death flag, like yep. <laughs> multiple death flags being thrown up for uh, for our Joe. Yeah, this it's, it's, it's so hard to like tell too, like because uh, I because I, I feel like he says like, oh, I want to come back to you guys, but at the same time, they're they're adding all the little parts about how like all the flowers and basically like you know a time of the day, like you know walking the oh, welcoming the back. I didn't even think so. About I'm wondering that. like, yeah, that's exactly. So yep, I was thinking, like, okay, does like... he mean that kind of coming back? <laughs> or... yeah. Uh, but just it, being it, like I'll never leave again, and it's just like, yeah. all right, well, now you're gonna leave just through a different format. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, it it I, was. I, Go ahead, dude. I, like, I, I, I hope someone makes a video about like doing all like, they take like the lyrics of the hummingbird song and just like, just like, just do the analysis of, like just the whole season two. That's a, such a powerful like part of this season two. Oh yeah, they've done it yeah. really well. It's uh, God, what was it? The um. I'm also glad that he's going to be using gear. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. That'll be fun to watch. Even though I think we all kind of uh, uh, knew that from way back, it, it was basically one of those where he was going to put it on towards the end. No. I wonder, it I was wonder what the reaction would be like because people are saying like, he's going to be a sellout for you know he was known for being gearless. Now he's use a gear, so yeah, I wonder the if that's be... like ancient. <laughs> Like five years he's five years past his prime not that well, bad i was gonna say do we know how old uh joe is is no, he he's like in his 20s right he's like he can't 20s be that old or what yeah because he was maybe like he's probably like 22 like when maybe he was early boxing. 20 yeah like I season like, one yeah it was either 20 or at 22 when he was like boxing and it's only i think he's still in his 20s damn it anime list doesn't tell me <laughs> sometimes every once in a while they have, like, they have a character uh, where they have it says age. joe is in his early 20s and what that was for oh. what? How that was for the, was that must have been for the first season. I thought he was like in his thirties or something. Oh no way! This is from the yeah. This is from the director. So was this super, was season he one. Looks super young. Yeah, he's, in he's in his he's in his twenties. Yeah. So late he's late twenties now. So he's like late twenties now. Yeah. Mid okay. to late twenties. That's not okay. That's not here. That's what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I don't. Do you think anime focuses on people in their thirties, man? No. You know, I always wish they would. No, no. <laughs> Not not in this dystopian uh, future. I mean, maybe maybe Yuri 
is in like he's he's probably getting close to his early 30s. I think he's like same yeah. age as Joe, I assume, or a little bit older. Maybe a little bit older. A little Anyways, older. anywho. Um, but I, I uh, it's uh, what did you guys think about them? Uh, what is it? They brought up, they brought up like the stuff with the the painkillers. But I'm assuming that it was uh, nothing with like the drugs. It was more probably just with like the like just the head trauma. Yeah. I'm guessing, even though they said, even though they, they did say like nothing looked major. So you know, hopefully that this yeah. is just you know with this just final match, it's fine. I really hope that they don't like he doesn't just end up having headaches so during the match. I would like to see like if it's a final match, just let it be you know what it is instead of having to like uh, you know nerf the MC yeah. for this final thing, which I. I I hate so much. Shows. I agree with that, that's but I definitely just, feel like they're going to go that, that shonen I, route. Exactly. Yeah. Like I know the yeah. show isn't a shonen in any means, but with these fights, when they come to the you know this, yeah, this pinnacle drama, moment, sir. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah. I think what's, it's what's a sports show about drama, like sir. And then, and they got to have something of like you know Max definitely going to go into Mac time at some point during this yeah. fight, and Joe's going to have to dig deeper than he's ever dug before oh. to. What if like oh, what if he does the baddest thing, right? Where during the match, like it's like the final round, and like he realizes that the gear is slowing him down, so he just takes it off and then just like starts fighting gearless. That would be punching, pretty badass. Starts just punching. That would be pretty badass. So. <laughs> I, I do feel like uh, Joe, like Joe's probably gonna get rocked by Mac time, but I think he's still gonna be able to fight. I, it just feels like it's gonna be something like that's gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, but 100%. I, there's definitely going to be a moment too where like everything's going to look bad for Joe and then Sakio's about to throw in the towel, but then, you know, right. through the power of anime and yeah, and friendship, the Rocky. And, uh, and, <laughs> or so, the Rocky. Uh, yeah, I'm so I'm still going to say, dude, fuck Sakio, man. Joe doesn't need your forgiveness. Man. I know, right? It's fine without you. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Like his character development really doesn't have much like, impact to me. Yeah. Like, yeah, it wasn't that good. Like I, yeah. I can't like see ain't from his side of point. I just see like I just see everyone just chasing Joe away. Like, yep, yeah. Which they basically need him. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> like we said, unfortunately, if Joe does die, then hopefully oh, that God. gives the change that Sakio needs to have. That'll really suck for us, you know. That that love Joe as a character and individual, but yep, I could definitely see it going that route. You know. Especially how like how, like how good this like this just season has been in general. Yeah, because I, mean, I feel I like it's just... getting to that. This show I don't think needs any more seasons after the after. No, this. no, I I don't I, I don't think so either. I mean, if, if only the first the first season had a better ending, then like I would say that one you need big season. But this one definitely makes it up so far. So yeah, the only way I could see this like uh you know if the show were to continue in a sense it w- it would have been like let's say. Uh, Joe mentoring Sachio, but obviously Sachio's path is not boxing. It's going to yeah. be uh, something else, yeah, so there's really no need. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Yep. So we so. shall see. But other than yeah. that, that's all I got the, for uh, the last Mega Box. Thing I'll, I'll, last thing I'll say is since Johan's watching, Johan, I need you to look at the ending song for season two in Mega Box and translate for us, sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Our Spanish is too yes. too bad. I'll, I'll probably, we I'll don't have look. Sasha to help. <laughs> I'll try to look, look it up in a link so you can hear, but yeah. So yeah. that'll be it for Mega Box for now. Let's move on to our next show. Well, actually, it's just oh, no, yeah. Uh, let's talk about Nagatoro. Yeah. Ooh, this, this is probably my, my second favorite. Shot. <laughs> yeah, second favorite of the week or the second favorite episodes of Nagatoro. Um, from really? episode oh, seven, just because just, cause, just cause, like we're finally reading like something development. <laughs> There's actually a story. Yep, <laughs> development. Yeah. Well, story, well, not even the story, but just like kind of like the, like every time where it seems like they're you know like where she's not like just teasing him about shit and actually like you know backing him up and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, first I thought she was like this new chick was gonna be another like a new challenger, and then she's just a bitch. <laughs> so I don't think she's gonna be actually oh, unless whoa, unless whoa, whoa, whoa. this. Se- senpai, actually, that's okay. senpai has to you know keep a lockdown on things, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, uphold. I may have actually jumped too soon. It could have been one of those where they like they have like their little art war tournament, and then you know he basically just destroys her, and then you know and then she falls for him, and then we then we begin the harem. <laughs> no, no, no! You don't understand. It's already over. All right, you got the oh, senpai, okay. the, the second year senpai who draws cat girls. Obviously, he's going to win the most votes, right? Because then you got the president who's just yeah, drawing true. like the classical stuff. So maybe she'll get like one or two, but yeah. it's going to be like a. Either an overwhelming victory, or those more horny guys out there that voted <laughs> than girls. You know, this is an anime uh, show, so we know where this is going. We know where this is going, right? 
And then, like, even though she has, like, that resting bitch face, like, I think the president's kind of cute, you know? Okay. And then uh, she has huge, uh, huge assets, so I can see why she's also the president. Okay. And uh, apparently, according to the people who's really, who's read the source novel, they actually nerfed her assets quite a bit in the anime. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. So. Well, good on them. Really, really though, I guess. That's weird. They guess. usually, they usually, it's usually the other way around. Usually, the other way around, right? Yeah. Usually, we, the manga, is, need, uh, the manga is more tame, and the anime like ups the factor. We don't need right. any next gen full dive going on here. Well, which we'll explain later in the podcast. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, uh, what are you guys? Real quick thoughts on tan lines. Uh, you know, actually, I think it's the perfect place for there to be some kind of tension because at this point. Uh, other than like the cliche, oh, they were stuck in the rain and then now they need to get closer together to warm up their bodies, right? It's kind of hard to see how they're going to build up their relationship naturally. And then with the tension, uh, with, like with something on the line, I, I'd assume that Nagatoro and then the senpai's, uh, the MC's uh, character, like their relationship, is going to naturally build build up from this. So uh, Sorry, I guess it's fine. One. Let me say it once more time. Uh, I said tan <laughs> lines, sir. Oh, talent. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what you were hearing, but like, yeah. <laughs> well, you must have cut off for me. But that's my that's my take on the relationship. No, but I agree a, it's a good take. Too. It's a good yeah. take. I like it. Sorry. No. Yeah, that's that's the whole part of it. I actually liked it. It's basically like the, uh, it was that. And also, I do like when the MC, um, in a sense, like uh, fights back. When he, oh. you know, he basically showed her like, "Oh, I want you to like wear this," and it was basically just her in that cat outfit. He's like, Haha, oh. "She's never gonna do this," and it, I think we all knew like, "Well, we know what we're gonna get next." And and it happened. Uh, yeah, but but yeah, the tan lines. Uh, kind of surprised their stomach is so white. And yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah so <laughs> very weird. Uh, I think it's because I suppose she's suit. swimming, so it makes sense. Yeah, it's a swimsuit. Yeah, I forgot she is in swimming. So all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Well, yeah, because like, because the <laughs> typical like delinquent character, you think that just like just does nothing or just loiters around after school. It was weird seeing yeah. her like being like actually doing stuff like. <laughs> like 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 helping out a, a sports team, you know. Just you think yeah. she has the attitude of, like a delinquent girl, but I think it's just yeah, the way every she, time. the way it's just the way she talks and how she presents herself. It's just, that's why she opens herself to that stereotype. Yeah, and yeah. every time every time the MC was just trying to run, I just kept thinking same man, same. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in all honesty, yeah, it's just basically her friend group. It's like her herself. She seems like a nice person in general. So yeah, her well. I think her friend group is getting a little bit better just because of just because of her and I think the MC uh, because uh, you know a couple of those times the only reason why I say this is because that seventh episode where he was trying to like stand up and basically tell you know, telling them to, you know like you know, let's go or let, let's go oh. somewhere else and then her friends actually followed suit too and didn't hang around uh, the uh, basic dudes. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I I, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I got. Like I only um, I just. I think only the blonde chicks are the only good one. Like the other dudes, just still they still suck. The the one that was basically he, she's hanging out with the nerds, the gamers, yeah. Okay. But she's just, just like she's, oh yeah, she's just, the gamers. She's, gamers. She doesn't like doesn't do like I don't know. I feel like the other two like it's more it's not just teasing. It's just they're just being really annoying and like not respecting boundaries. Yeah. Sure. Whereas like at least yeah, the blonde, I, I, the blonde girls more chill. Yeah. yeah, there's there's two of them that's that's pretty okay neutral. I think the blonde girl's fairly neutral, and then. Uh, Nagatoro is like the the better one out of the group for sure. Uh, oh, yeah, but sure. I mean, I don't know. It's it's one of those things where it's 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 kind of hard because you only see, I guess, certain people on certain limelight. We don't really know how the others are like behind closed doors. So it's I guess it's kind of hard to tell what they're like. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's no. I'm. I think that's uh. I think that's really about it. I mean, I'm glad there's actually a story. I guess for the last couple episodes. Also, the animation, <laughs> the anime, yeah, for this episode, and the, well, I, I'm, it's going to continue. I'm assuming till the end of the season. Um, I think what we have like two episodes. I think two episodes left. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to, so. I'm going to guess it's you know they'll probably be uh, covered for both episodes. I don't know mm. like how popular this show is. Is this still like, is this still the meme show? Are people still? I don't know if people are still into it. Or, like... Dude, the budget of this animation, you would think so. <laughs> That's <laughs> why I say every week, man. <laughs> Yeah, like it's, I, I don't know. I, I feel like it's it's still trending, like on the top five list, trending on the sites that I watch. But yeah. um, I'd, I'd say it's very popular for for more than one reason, for sure. 
Yes. I yes. still, I still I, remember I am one of those. the first episode, man. It looked over a thousand comments on Reddit just like right away. Anyway. Um, yeah, that'll be it for Nagatoro san. Move on to our next show. Let's talk oh, let's talk about uh, Moriari the Patriot. Oh, let's. <laughs> um Man, I, I I don't really know how to feel like I know these last few weeks we've been saying like we've wanted them to get back to Moriarty and Sherlock, you know, having that duo finally have their their face off moment, which, you know, admittedly, this episode got us there in the right direction. Kind but of. Oh, yeah, I, I feel like it, it, it did it at a disservice to Milverton's character, though. Because I yeah. felt like they took like multiple episodes to build him up, and then literally just you, just, you know shot him. killed him off. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It it felt so anticlimactic for like for I thought like you'd think he'd be like the final villain of this arc. You think there'd be this huge build up of like this 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 criminal mastermind, and I thought right? I'd be thinking like okay, if we're not gonna do like chess game like you know yeah chess games with like the the, the two mains, okay, it's gonna be Milverton then like they're gonna. Be, I was assuming like this is this huge build of like of like two separate like chess matches going on with with them like each having to face Miller, Millerton and like his his goonies, mm-hmm. but no man, no, we just had to go to his 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 mansion to shoot him. <laughs> yeah, I definitely did not think that they were gonna wrap up, you know, that altercation going on in the mansion in in this week's episode. So it just um, felt way too easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. And it kind of just discredits like Milverton's group of like that one guy who looks like he's straight out of Berserk or, you know, Vinland Saga and then the other yeah. like assassin type character who are fighting off uh are fighting against um Moriarty and his crew. So I I, I totally agree with you there, dude, where it's just like I don't know, it just felt like they did that whole group dirty and really just belittled like how much of a different type of intelligent character milverton was meant to be and they were just yeah. like oh well you know we're we're both you know moriarty and sherlock we're both smarter than you and we're getting to our true game so we're just gonna write you out of the equation by shooting you you know off the balcony of your uh conveniently placed seaside cottage or mansion <laughs> and it's like there's such like a i don't know and the fact that like you're not gonna expose expose moriarty as the uh, lord of crime is it feels like like Sherlock just like an easy way out, just like with the jail sentence, or I don't know if he like if he goes to trial for killing, him, but even still, like yeah, it feels like that. It feels that Sherlock gets, or no, it feels like Morgari gets like the easy way out because he won't get exposed, and then he can easily Definitely. just like like find some way to like use use like either like like Sherlock's brother or even like James like to like pull some strings mm-hmm. in the government. So it's like, man, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely interested to see, like, because the only I think I've said before in previous weeks, like, I haven't known much about like the different Sherlock Holmes, like novels and stories and everything. Like the only real experience I've had with Sherlock has been from um, the movies, not even like the BBC series, which I know a lot of people (laughs) really enjoy. Um, But I'm just interested to see, like, I guess how original they're being with this version of Sherlock. Um, it definitely seems, you know, he's he's much more dark than I would think the the, the normal Sherlock is, especially with, you know, the actions that he took in this oh. week's episode. And then just at the end, you know, throwing himself into jail to. To get you when know, he was first introduced, in season one, I didn't like how goofy he was like that's that was like mm. a turn off for me first because I just didn't like his character being picked that way. For me, just like Sherlock is just, just either Robert Downey Jr. or Brendan Cumberbatch. Like I can't like <laughs> right. I can't see this this anime version of Sherlock being like like you know this is you know not my Sherlock basically. Yeah, so, they definitely so, seem to. Yeah, go ahead. I was like, so I don't I don't mind him going more the darker route because I much prefer it than like the goofy side he had in like season one. Fair. I definitely would not fit given you know Moriarty's character and, and the rest of the cast here. Um. I think, you know, they also know that they're uh, definitely pandering to the female audience with, you know, how good looking and how kind of bad boy some of these characters are. So I'm sure that is another uh, stylistic reason that they went the route that they did. So, (laughs) but um, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm definitely interested to see, you know, how things will end. Um, I think in the preview for next week, they showed in the title that it's going to be like a multi-part um case like the, or whatever the final something yeah yeah but so just... do you think it's gonna be like will they push it for a show off between moriarty and sherlock or do you think it's way... gonna just be something involving like his brother now 
I don't know the Again, way that, with that, like the government and stuff. The way that Moriarty said he wants like Sherlock to come and kill him, so I, it's, it just mm -hmm. seems more and more like they got to pull a Lelouch. So, <laughs> and then, yeah. but even though like he's already gonna be on trial for killing Milverton, so now it's gonna be even more deep shit for trying to kill Moriarty. So yeah, so I I don't know. Okay, like, I will say though, I, uh, to your point, I uh, I did really enjoy the final part when uh Moriarty and Luis are kind of being you know drawn away in the carriage, and Moriarty is explaining to Luis that he is surprised how easy Sherlock was able to take a human life, and now how he's you know in this situation where it's like he knows the next time he sees Sherlock, it's you know a fight to the death. I so, guess because that was pretty first, cool. <laughs> the first season was like cause Sherlock didn't want to kill that the other guy that. That Moriarty wanted him to kill. So mm -hmm. it was definitely like... more of a battle of wits, and now it's like okay, a battle of moralities where Sherlock's gonna do whatever he damn needs to. Uh, I guess you know wrap up Man. Moriarty. Man, it's still it's still like just also just bothering me this episode how like how just Sherlock just right away just like he had the the whole like like big brain moment where you're just like piecing it all together. Oh, that's like you know Moriarty and Nolte. That's yeah. what's really happening here. That's that's why you involve like Mary and all that. It's like. Okay, sure. Yep, they definitely have their OP intelligence that comes in, you know, makes things I a lot know. more lackluster. I was of just piecing things together with traditional, like, mystery type detective I was series. Just building up this last, like, what, four episodes of, like, I want something epic, and I don't think I'm going to get it. So. Yeah. Well, we shall see. Yeah. But yeah, uh, other than that, yeah, that's, so all that's I got. Be, that's going to be it for Mario the Patriot. Move on to our next show. Uh, talk about Hige Hero. Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, I've been seeing the talks in the Discord. It sounds like the consensus is quality's... I'll, I'll just say, just like, going down. this place episode, I don't know, I just felt like it dragged on. Like, I was, like, having a hard time paying attention. I, I don't like the decision that Yoshida made. <laughs> I feel like... We're talking about, we're talking about, we're talking about Nick last week's not, like, this... Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, yeah. You're talking about the decision to go with her to, to go with to, her to right. the family's house, and then the fact that the friends was kind of pushing him to make that decision as well. But yeah, uh, I feel like by by her having assistance and not going by herself, uh, it kind of takes away like her her strength, like her redemption arc in a sense. Where yeah, you know, like I've experienced a lot. I'm growing up now. I'm gonna take care of this by myself. Like take care of my problems, mm -hmm. and then if you know, you know, God forbid, if, if everything, like, if nothing, ha like, happens, right, I can come back and continue living with Yoshida or whatever she wants. But, um, yeah, I know, I was, I was really kind of disappointed. And I really, I was really hoping that Yoshida would respect that and then just say, hey, you know, uh, at the end of the day, no matter what happens, like, you'll always have a home with me if if it doesn't work out for you. Uh, so I'm kind of surprised that the, the show went this route, to be honest. I feel like, again, it's just the authors, man, just forcing the characters to do things for the sake of the story. Like, yeah, you would think, like, Yoshi's character wouldn't do that, but it seems like the author mm -hmm. wants the main character to be involved with the other main characters. Like, they want them together in this final part. They don't want just Sayu. They don't want just Sayu doing this and having Yoshi push the side. So it's just, yeah. I, th I think it's just these authors interfering with their characters. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not the arc I was hoping for, or and it's sorry, it's not like the story I was hoping for, where it's just you know two two people that are just kind of like helping each other kind of get out of their rut, and it's more like the author pushing both of them to uh, basically as a couple. Um, the only the only way to be, like they like the that would end up this way is like if they actually do end up becoming a couple. Uh, if not, this is just a complete. There's just there's so much waste like time that's wasted with like the just the awkward sexual tension between these two. When they could have been just like developing other people more, Spanish. instead of uh, instead you say of that, and it just reminded the line where it's like, "Man, what would happen if you were my dad?" I was like, "Don't say that, Sayu." It was That's the worst so, thing yeah, to say. And weird. <laughs> so oh, oh, it's man. like I don't know because like they, there's been so many episodes where like they you know where you or like that one where we thought like okay like it was supposed to be like an end to it like they got an understanding then they're gonna move on. Next episode immediately it was just more awkwardness. So I don't know. I, I'm assuming at this point they're probably like I, I think like they're like the author's just committed that it's just gonna be those two. Um, and then it's uh it's it's kinda giving the <clears throat> excuse me, it's kinda giving the same vibes as uh seeing yesterday for me. Like I, I thought the, the story was great, it's moving at a good pace, you really enjoy the characters and you feel like you have an understanding of what each character 
like is and their personalities and then at the very end it feels really rushed and they just like threw out all that development out the window for like the cheesy sappy ending exactly where, yep. where oh hey uh they're gonna f- fall for each other i guess and hook up for some reason so yeah or just like the more drama, like you said earlier, like where it's just like that dude that's just like has no fucking business being in this, and he's just like pressuring this guy. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> like, who the hell are you, man? You're not even you're barely even friends. <laughs> yeah. So, hopefully, uh, Sayu's mom puts Yoshida in his place in, in some way or another, just being like, you know, hey, I appreciate what you did for my daughter and everything, and you know, they make her realize how shitty of a mom she was. But mm-hmm. to, to your point, it, it's like you know, they just continually rely on each other and then it's always kind of working out for them at the end of the day. Like, yeah. there hasn't really been any major moment of just, like, not, I don't even would say failure is the right word, but I don't know. It just kind of goes too smoothly in a way when you, if you thought, you know, you put yourself in the same shoes as either Sayu or Yoshida. I don't think it would go out the way that it's, like, going right now. Yeah, I, I don't feel like this next episode's going to be good. Yeah. This, to <laughs> David's point, the author awkward. is definitely pushing their vision of what they want these characters to like, be yeah. and how they kind of... Yeah. Mm. Just talk about, like, like this, like, the, how long have we done this podcast? Like, this season, last season, I and, mean, like, fall season? Like, all inconsistent mm-hmm. characters are the way, with the way they're acting. It just, like, feels like authors yeah. just can't help but, like, like, but, like, interfere. Like... Mm. So they, they, their, their story is more important than the, than the, the way than their characters what you act so yeah yeah so yeah. I, I really don't have like that high hopes anymore of the show um, do uh do you think Yoshida and Sayu will will be a, a thing at the end oh 100% Based man what we've seen, yeah. like, <laughs> this last episode 100%, yeah. 100% when they were driving in the car and then the best friend was just like yo man you gotta take all the shots you can and you know like telling them all these things I'm just like alright that was pretty much like the monologue they needed to solidify the relationship between them yeah so yeah not the route I really wanted uh, but it, it just basically yeah. that's what it looks like it, Yuzuha was not com- not a complete total mess this episode yeah. I mean, but, she kind of she she kind of still is because of oh, what definitely. she told Yoshida. But uh, this episode, what did she say? When she was telling Yoshida to go with Asayu, right? I was kind of hoping that uh, when she was telling him that you know she's just trying to be strong and she needs support now more than ever, you need to go help her. I was kind of hoping that the monologue that the best friend gave him, like on the ride to back to his apartment, it would have been the complete opposite and not the same thing that uh, like that. Uh, I don't even know the girl's name was saying so. Um, yeah. yeah. So yeah, Yuzuha. Yeah. So again, it's not it's not a Yuzuha's business. She should just like keep quiet. She doesn't know any better. Yeah. And then with the best friend, he should have talking more sense to him and not gone for the whole like dramatic uh it, uh the story, sir. We need to yeah. tell it was, it was, I, I won't lie, it was I'm pretty corny. It, it was pretty know? corny also, when they were driving on the freeway and then they like to... panned to him like you know, stepping on the gas pedal and it's like they're not even going that much faster. Like they're going like forty five <laughs> miles so per hour. Cringe, like, man. Just a day so like cringe, man. <laughs> It's it's that typical ending or an, <laughs> anime ending where it's they, they make it really dramatic, they come to the conclusion yep. and then they they rally. Yeah. <laughs> so. And like, anyway, and it, all, it, all it, because she wasn't, she wasn't even missing either. She was just like walking. She was lost on the way to his work. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, Jesus. And like, honestly, I feel like the show's not even that bad, but I think it's because we had so much hope for it based on how well it was going in the very Dude. beginning that, 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 we're, that we feel this way, right? Because I actually had a lot of free time and I ended up uh, finishing uh, Too Sick to Call This Love. Uh, which is oh. another like rom com, I guess. Mm-hmm. But with that show, it wasn't like better than the show per se. But you kind of got the theme of what was going to happen throughout the whole show, so you weren't going to be disappointed, right? If anything, if they didn't end up together, it would have been like kind of shocking, right? But yeah, it was still an enjoyable show to watch. It was still very cute, and if you can get past the whole aspect of like the the main guy being like ten years old, older than the the love interest, um, you know, it, it's whatever. It's it's a cute romance story. And it developed really well, but then that's not what you were expecting from Hika Hero. So, 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 real disappointed. And uh, you know, may, maybe the last two episodes or three episodes will change my mind. Who knows? I to it. If he ends <laughs> up hooking up a go to at the very end, that's God that's bless. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> There's still hope. Yeah. At, There's still at, hope. At this point, we've we watched ten episodes. There's three. There's three left. Okay. So, who knows? We'll see. 
Dude, it's it's also funny that like like we can play all of this and yet the author is saying like on Twitter, like, hey, I wrote I, I this is just a story, don't actually do this in real life, you know? It's like, okay, bro, you're kinda sure, saying man. the wrong sure. you're kinda saying the wrong message here. So <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go out to the streets, look out for pretty like homeless girls and just like take them in. Yeah, yeah, that's totally what I wanna do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, author. No, it, yeah. Thanks, author. But this Good is another show though. <laughs> He should have sh- said this after episode one, not episode ten. All right, because so he, he said we know. Back, so I'm sure. Yep, he said that yeah. way back, like episode like three or four when it was getting popular. But still, mm. it's just like his his mm. messaging and like the the message of this story, you know, they don't match up very well. So yeah. I hope so. I, just yeah, I hope, hope people don't do it. I yeah. just want to call but it out. That's fine. A little thing uh, was just it's ba- this basically just another show that ha- that that suffered from. Just a terrible ending. Or it, it basically started off really strong, promising, and just uh, mm. tanked. Tanked hard. Damn these authors, man. They know how to get us. And then they drag us <laughs> along and then yank the rug yeah, from like, underneath us. Yeah, I'm going to make yeah. this story really interesting. Nah, we're going down my path. No, no. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like the Prophet Ku has been saying all along, man. They just, like, we just can't get any good endings in anime. Like, they always have to have a strong yank. Not at all. They, they, can't, like, they can't end well. Can't finish, man. There's a few that are, uh, I think, are holding pretty strong. Yeah, but like uh, in general, like how many times? It's not rare. Rare. Yeah, if you have to wait, like rare. all the yeah. animation. Shows, yeah, it's very how few shows that have we covered you know? on this podcast where we could, where we keep saying, "Man, if only like they had a better ending." Yeah, that's a very common, very common theme. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, so, so here's hoping. Whose point still stands? Yeah. So. yeah. Yes. The, so the next three episodes. There may be hope. <laughs> Maybe hope. Go to. Uh, let's go. <laughs> there's always a chance, I guess. So we're in it there for Hika Hero. We'll see what happens next week. Uh, let's move on to our next show. All right. Uh, you guys can talk about I'm a Spider, so what? It sounds like a lot of activity happening. Oh, uh, yes. Week. A whole away. lot of activity. Um, I'll, I mean, I'll keep it short and sweet. I was not a fan of this week's episode. I could barely pay attention to one just going really overboard with kumiko's comedic kind of excerpts of the war that is going on and her just being like oh like look at all these humans oh this is a lot of tasty xp for me and all these other things and i mean i'm sure i'm being a little overcritical, but i just uh, i've kind of hit my limit with kumiko's humor when it gets like really just like over the top and excessive and i think like the first like five six minutes of this week's episode was exactly that and then even when we did get back to you know the human side and everything of shun and hugo fighting one another like man i mean i'm not one to normally talk bad about animation qualities and everything and i know we were talking about uh x arm which has become the meme of of animation quality as of late but (laughs) god damn man like the whole fights between Shun, Hugo, and, you know, even the scenes with Kumiko and Ariel, like, uh, the CG there, it just rubbed me a different way. Like, it was, I know anime is a cartoon in its own sense, but mm. this just looks some, like some child's cartoon, like, really bad quality stuff that I, I would not have expected to come from the show here, so. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's that's yeah. my thoughts of this week. I mean, definitely, I get it if there's, like, a shit ton of, like, soldiers that you have to animate, or if it's something that's too hard to draw into detail, I guess, like, with the Earth Dragon or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, you know, you would expect something with the main, like, the main cast, right? The the reincarnated people, you expect it to be drawn out and, like, very flashy. Yeah. I mean, even with Kumiko, all her stuff is CG, but after a while, it's, it's a spider, so... It's, yeah, it's, kind of it's not as bad. But to do both her and I felt like they did Ariel like really dirty. Like even her CG in this week's episode is just like is this comical in some instances when they have uh-huh. like some of the the close ups of them in their CG drawn models. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, yeah, it's 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 kind of rough. And then like we did, like you said, we did get the uh, like comic side of Kumiko, and which I feel like at at this point you need to stop with that. We got like two to three episodes to figure out what's going on. Uh, we yep. need you to stop and try to explain what's happening in your world, right? <laughs> and then uh, I got what I wanted, right? They started out the episode with uh, like the explanation as to what happened with Kumiko and the army. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we got it. But it was very short-lived. And like you said, the CG was very distracting. And then like they threw hit at the very end. Oh, maybe Kumiko was the 
the the white hair girl that follows Ariel around that's always has her eye closed. Mm-hmm. But we we still don't know exactly what's going on. So at this point, I'm just trying to finish the anime, so I know what happens. Right? <laughs> I'm with you on that conclusion. One. That's it. Yeah, I thought it was also funny how uh, the only other thing I forgot to mention is how in the you know war with Kumiko and then Ariel being teleported there and everything by uh, the one administrator, um, it was funny seeing Julius on the battleground as like a you know like little like toddler kid who's just like you know obviously I get what they're trying to portray is that you know he kind of stepped into the hero role at a very young age as well and he's kind of stepping up into his duties of of fighting evil but Mm -hmm. i don't know what it was like i loved the older julius but this little kid julius i was just like yo man what you you gotta go home man like it's time it's it's nap time like you shouldn't be around here like i don't know it just felt odd i was kind of hoping that maybe maybe they were trying to build more into the comical factor right maybe ariel's kind of like has a thing for little kids, and because he was so cute and he's a hero, that's true. That's what because we have like all the, all the Shoto like comments and everything. So. Right, right. So, so maybe there was something going on there, but uh, I mean, obviously Julius didn't die because he he grew up to be another hero. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, so something happens to keep him kicking. <laughs> yeah, but at this point, I don't know, man. I'm 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 so done with the the whole reincarnate class. Like, other than just trying to figure <laughs> out who was who, like I'm I'm done. Right. So yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, it, was, it, was, it was looking so good, man. Like, the show was looking so good. I know. Good. The early days, man, when you were coming in with those profit, you know, profit calls and just the what's, bigger plays. And it's like, this? you know, another... seven episodes later, we still don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, like, right? An- another like, instance of an anime that can't finish properly. Hey, man. With 24 episodes. Yeah, right? right? There's still so much that they have to explain. What is this destruction? Who are these administrators? Like, how did people get to where they are? But no, we're just still trying to get between like the the small the small beef that that the that the reincarnated people oh, have. Oh man, other. It's, I'm it's, so it's scared now. Like like you said, you know, I hope they give us the answers and everything because now I just feel like not an idiot. But if I look back, it's just like just think about it, man. We watched like eight nine episodes of Kumiko just sticking in a cave doing you know all these random things, and if it goes nowhere at the end of the day, like. Ugh, it's gonna hurt I mean, a little bit. It'll sting I mean, a little just bit. remember, like this was a light. This was a web novel where a guy just like started writing fan fiction, and then it just got picked up by a publisher. That's how all these isekai start out with. But they gave it twenty four episodes, David. They <laughs> yeah. wouldn't do that if it wasn't good, right? Right. right. <laughs> like, you say that, but like, how right, many, David? How many anime just like just <laughs> go on and on of like nothing happening. Oh God. David, yeah. there's too uh, much logic going on. I I just need you know to see what these three episodes this, hold. This is what, and, this is what this is five why, egg on my face at the end of the day. It this is, is why is. this is why we never there's never season two of anything. They make they make you buy the the, the source material because because they know they they got you at that ending. The bait, man. The they they really carrot. don't. But yeah, usually usually. <sighs> so we'll uh, see. Yeah, you'll see. Hopefully it redeems itself, but it ain't looking good. So. <laughs> wow. So that was exciting. Uh, <laughs> discussion about I'm a spire, so what? <laughs> Glad we had to have that. Move on to our next of show. Course. Talk about Burning Kabaddi. Oh, God. Okay, I'm, I just need to know. Are you playing getting... a match? Are you playing a yeah, match yet? Uh, well, well it's practice match. Practice exhibition, match. still. Yeah. Another one. They haven't, they haven't actually played any official ones, and I don't think they're going to. No. Uh, it's, I think uh, after this, they're just going to get ready for the tournament that, that's going to occur soon. Yeah, and I don't know, dude. I'm this. This show's it's kind of slowing down for me. Uh, mm. I don't know why. I'm just getting uh, a little bit. Just I don't know if it's just kind of. It's just I don't know. It, it's I don't know if it's I'm just not like as interested, or it's just like because it's the, the main game now, or they're really dragging it out, or it's just kind of getting really ridiculous. <laughs> I, I don't mean, know the, the the super cut or the 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 back the back ability, dude. Whatever, whatever like that, that whatever that, that that new guy we have that comes in that just basically uh-huh. just man modes everything. It's just like what the what the hell's the point? And then you oh. still have you still have like uh the guys like on the on um on like the the main a- a- MC's team where they're mm-hmm. grabbing them by the waist instead of going for like the ankles, which is probably what you should should probably be doing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of um. It's slowing down for me. I don't. I still don't hate the show, but it's uh, it's uh, I don't know. I'm well, actually well. Usually, more... 
usually with sport animes, if there is a season two, that's when you'll start to see them in their glory. Uh, it's been kind of a, a trend lately in the past few years where the first season is just all about the, the main like team losing and growing from that. And then you can kind of tell this too, right? Like as they're losing hope or whatever, they're getting more desperate. But then with that with that loss, it gives you that experience you need to to triumph like over the stronger teams later on. So mm. uh, un- unfortunately, yeah, they're going to lose a lot and it may get kind of like boring or uh, repetitive. But I-, I feel like that's just how it has to be for them to be ready to win the national tournament in their first year or whatever. So I-, I also I also really hope I-, I really hate how their captain just keeps going out for stuff. Like it happened like the previous match too, you know when they, like where where he just they held him out because like he wasn't going to play the guy with the swimmer with the hand, with the burning hand. Do you remember where like the the main cat like the the MC captain from the last school? Uh yeah, from the last school where like uh, um the 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 crazy dude that's on the MC's team. I don't know why I'm blanking on their name, but how oh, uh, yeah about how like you know how he was like sitting out of the match for a while like the entire time. And then this one, you know, he had to get knocked out because he's, you know, he he fell and his head was bleeding and stuff, and he was up front on the right round. Yeah, just like damn, dude, just like just let's just play a normal exhibition match. Like, why why are we doing this? No, you got to test your limits. That's how you know if it's going to work or not at the actual tournament, dude. You have to nerf them. That's what's going to happen. I just feel like this guy's just going to get knocked out again. Like, you know, when that tournament actually comes, that he's going to have to like sit out for a few rounds, and that's a cover for him. Oh yeah, yeah I mean that that stuff. that always happens, right? At dude, the time when they need the you most. Right, right, but at the time when I need you most, that's when you, you know, like something happens to you. That's just how it is in all sport animes. <sighs> I know. That's where you get the tension from. So un- yeah. unfortunately, it does fall towards the the usual trope that happens in these kind of animes. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I thought the the story is starting to get more repetitive. Like I'm starting to care less and less about the other team, like Sakura and his backstory. Uh, I just want to see how this team grows and. Like gets ready and hopefully develop the other characters other than Yoigoshi and um, uh, Azumichi, right? Mm-hmm. Because they they do have that one guy that's that's super quiet. You have the fat guy who who used to practice sumo wrestling, and then uh, Hitomi, the uh, the very fem- feminine uh, guy. Yeah. Uh, I was kind of hoping that they would kind of demonstrate some of their strong points too, so we can kind of have like a no, like a good understanding of the team overall. I don't think they have any strong points. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they uh, like I'm not sure about the 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 feminine guy, but I think the fat dude he has like some redeeming qualities, right? Especially if he does sumo, he's very strong. I'd assume, right? They just have to ta- they just have to hone those skills, right? And then the guy who's really quiet, uh, Bond or whatever, uh, he could definitely be like a Ojo, like a mini Ojo in a sense, right? Because he's super quiet as well. So I can he could definitely, uh, I guess try to perfect the the. Uh, like the removal of your presence, so when mm-hmm. you're when you're raiding, they can't really detect like what you're going to do or anticipate. Right. So I feel like there's definitely potential there, uh, and for some reason they just keep focusing on like the the main characters, which yeah. which is nice, but it's it's getting kind of repetitive. So yeah, they've definitely dropped like any kind of uh, like uh, like 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 the, the the main or the the surrounding cast with like the the bald guy, like he, mm-hmm. he like the, like you barely even see him, like you'll see mm-hmm. him in, in some shots, and then that's about it. But there's just yeah. so much like monologue that's going on with like the the other guy on the other team, mm-hmm. which it's just like it's like almost it's like overkill because it's just I'm assuming we're probably not going to be seeing this guy that much. Like, uh, right. I'm tr- I'm trying to like compare them to like Haiku, but it's just like the the characters from other teams. Like I swear, like they they got like maybe an episode and that's it. But like this this uh was it the the guy on the other team the 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 raider on the other team like yep. we've seen him like they there were like multiple episodes now with his backstory. It's just, like dude, just let's just move on. Yeah. And this, this guy's just basically he's, he's just like he's just throwing people around like nothing. <laughs> it's just like what the fuck's the point? <laughs> you know, the power of love and, and friendship definitely oh, goes a long way. Yeah, basically and just they evolve your grandmother apparently. So Yeah, you basically just grab people you know, like however you want, just basically just throw them across the room. But it's pretty badass, so I'm not gonna lie. I do like his animations, but yeah, I think I'm getting kinda of sick of his backstory. So Yeah, yeah. But anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, that's what it is. Yeah, I I don't know. Like, uh, it's. I'm just gonna guess that. Oh, there's only one episode left, so this is basically. So what we have next is just basically the end of this. Oh, is it really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So, uh, pretty sure they're gonna lose, and then they're gonna go back crying to their school, and they need to work on whatever before the tournament, and that's the end of the season. I'm assuming. Yeah. 
try to hype it up, and then yeah, so we are we are done. I'm still really like the like like uh, up to this point, like the show's actually been um, very good. But th- this one was just kind of like, oh, one more thing too. Like the MC, where he was gonna say like he was gonna use like some sort of skill, and I thought like oh he's gonna do it, and then we just uh-huh. never saw it. So I'm assuming it'll be next episode. <laughs> no, no, he he has used this move, the the supercut, and then the back that he was doing. That that was his move oh, that he's been protecting. Was like, oh, I thought there was another one he's gonna do. Yeah, but then the problem is what Ojo was telling. That's the reason why Ojo is always getting injured is because it does put a lot of strain on your body, and because Yoi Goshi is already like a like a national level athlete, uh, he's not gonna feel the the strain of using all those moves yet. But eventually it will. So that's that's why he. He hasn't been doing it as much, or the captain doesn't want him to do it as much. So I wonder if he'll feel it next episode. Probably, probably. Yeah. probably. Got to have a little yeah. bit of more, a little bit more drama than nerfing the team. Yeah, I mean, I guess right. It is an anime, but I guess there is a weak point with your super moves, or there has to be, right? So, Always until the end. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, overall, I still like the show. Uh, I don't think yeah. I don't think there's anything they can do in the next episode that that would that would cause me to be very uh disappointed with the show oh no no uh but i mean i don't know i've been wrong before <laughs> so. i mean it would have to be a whole different like i don't know they'd have to do something crazy to actually just right. tank this next like, okay be- if if ojo injured himself again and he has to sit on the tournament that would cause oh, me to just rip. lose it yeah yeah right yeah. Or, or mc or anybody that actually matters in their team no i don't even care about the mc at this point all i care about is because he's because he's so badass right but then, yeah, because he's so strong that, yeah, of course he, he has a handicap. He's really frail. So if Ojo feels desperate and he wants to win for his team, he does something stupid again and causes, like, more permanent damage where he has to sit out in uh, the, the next upcoming tournament, yeah, I'm just going to lose it. Like, that's yeah. just that's just bad. I like I like how these guys are tryharding so hard for an exhibition match. It's basically just practice, man. Let's, let's, let's calm down. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the spirit, right? I, I can't complain that sure. they're putting their all on the line. So that, that's good practice. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's all. That's all I got. Yeah. All right. So that's got to be it for Burning Kabaddi. Move on to our next show. It's about Mashio no Oto. All right, guys. Oh, I'm so mad with this episode, all right? Because here I am trying to be a, a Shamisen like, connoisseur, right? Like mm-hmm. a guy mm-hmm. who knows his, his, his music. And... Uh, when they finally get to Setsu's playing, right? Like I, like I'm all for like the others, like having their 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 time, right? Their their solo moment. Mm-hmm. But when it was Setsu's turn, I was so ready to hear like how he was going to play because you know you got you got Umako just trying to tell him to play the old style, right? Just steal his grandfather's sound and yeah. showcase it to the world and just like hide your like hide your sound. And he got all his friends back him up, say, "Hey, you know, like we we want to hear you, we want to hear your sound, we want to hear like the sound of life, you know, yeah, something unique loose. and original." And then like, not even that, like Setsu, like it was, it was kind of like anticipated. Setsu starts off playing what his grandpa would have played, and he slowly starts to open up and like play his sound. But then the problem with this episode that I hate so much is that they were trying so hard to like amplify his piece with the like and at uh, like analogies and and um and whatnot that they they had like like the uh like the supporting sound like the supporting background music like it just totally overshadowed his piece so you couldn't even hear his playing and that's what i hate about this episode so much yeah so, no i i would totally agree with you you know it's yeah. been building and building for setsu to really step into his own and you know come into his own sound and we definitely didn't get that we got you know pieces as he started to realize you know what what he needed to do to with you know the backing of all his friends and all these other individuals that have really been you know helping him get out of the shadow that is you know the the need to feel to you know play his his dead uh grandfather's sound but yeah it was definitely a letdown it definitely could have been you know a lot more impactful i felt like um and if anything now i'm just more hyped to see what the rival is going to bring to the table i feel like the rival is going to shred that thing up and down and i'm gonna be like sorry setsu like i love you man but hey rival might be my new homeboy (laughs) depending on what he he throws down rival's gonna kill it yeah also uh you know uh mc's mom is uh is now the villain I, 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 mean, I mean, he was I, always well, the villain, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Day one when she kidnapped of, yeah. him and, you know, he woke up in, in her apartment or whatever. Yeah, but even more so this time, though. Because, like, those times I had, like, some sort of comedy, kind of, like, a little bit comedy relief. This mm-hmm. one was basically just, just straight bitch. <laughs> yeah. 
And even the dad realized he was just kind of like, hmm, fucking doing my, my boy dirty. He ain't doing it right. And it's just like, yeah. God damn, like. Yeah, it makes you wonder, right? Like, is his dad actually in the right here? Like, like, what if he was actually stuttering under his dad instead of, like, the grandfather, Umako? Like, would he have been able to play or find a sound earlier or be a lot I mean, better, per se? I guess we don't know enough about the dad. Like, I think it's easy right now from what we've seen of him to be like, oh, you know, if Setsu did go with him, like, he would mm. just... Well, we don't know what the rival is like. So, like, right. I would have to think if once we hear what the rival is like, then that's probably what Setsu was meant to be. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see, like how the rival got to where he is based off like setsu's dad's training like was yeah. setsu's dad just like an ultimate dick that you know really <laughs> pushed this rival like super hard to get him to where he needed to be or you know is the rival just a like genius in his own right and setsu's dad's actually not a bad guy and was trying to you know do the best for his son versus umiko you know who's just fixated on people remembering her father and not letting that go so right yeah well we'll have to see i think the the jury is is still out on that one until we can get a little bit more more insight into uh setsu's dad as a a teacher and everything i mean with yeah. the mom it's even like more of a dick move because you know she it's more like she just does not care about him at all and just wants the, wants people to hear about the the I grandparents mean, music which is i a, feel like she, i feel like she, she does she does care about her sons but oh, yeah no. definitely she oh, cares no. way more about like her her father's uh name in a sense so yeah, yeah. I think the children are just a tool to keep that yeah. alive they don't really care yeah. what they're actually aspiring to do at the end of the day which is yeah. unfortunate but i feel like with this show it's probably gonna have a change of heart for umiko at some point you know when setsu Oof. finally kind of steps into his own and yeah, he'll try to kind of pull that route but yeah right <laughs> like, now at the end umiko god damn yeah i i you, did like the <laughs> Oh, go ahead, Justin. No, I was just gonna be like, you, you a hot bitch, but man, you, you a bitch. Ooh, you bitch though. You hot. <laughs> yeah, you hot, and you know you hot, but doing our boy dirty like that, that ain't right. That ain't right. I can't forgive you for that. <laughs> Maybe later though. We'll see. We'll see. Well, yeah, I, I'm sure like how it's gonna be like like all the, a lot of the other anime where they all of a sudden realize that the, whatever the music that they're making or whatever they're doing, it all of a sudden doesn't sound so bad, and then they're they're okay with it. But I did like the memories that they were showing, like of like him and his grandpa, where uh, like like my favorite part was basically when uh, he was when he was ma basically mentioning how uh, how he was just saying to steal his sound but make it his own or his own, and I thought and for some reason I was like oh there I was like that's a pretty good line, uh, where the basically like, the the where they where but it was like just kind of going more in the the part where the the grandpa was saying like like you're really all you're doing is just copying me like you're not really you know. Being like you're not doing anything of your own. You're just you know, mm -hmm. just being like a, a cover band. You know? Yeah, and like like the the beginning piece where you could just listen to what Setsu was playing. I thought it was really crisp and clear, and mm -hmm. it was really nice to listen. Right, and I was waiting for the like the app up for like his his crazy piece, his solo piece. We barely um, got any of that. Yeah, and then you didn't get any of that when they finally got to like his portion. They just <laughs> threw all this drama into it. Right. Keep Cue yeah. in the extra music, yeah. cue in the, the analogies, and it's whatever. And then the worst part, too, was is like they cut off the episode like in the middle of his session. So that's what bugged me the most. Like, how do you cut off a guy's like solo piece? <laughs> right? It's it's his show. Like, what are you doing? I know. After everybody else in the tournament's been getting their, you know, full yeah. full piece and, and time in the spotlight. And yeah, no, they're they're doing Setsu dirty and they're continuing to keep him uh, the emo boy. Even though he's he's so much more than that, yeah. yeah I mean, I guess so. I guess I guess Kaji, like the guy before him, did have it pretty rough too with his all of his string breaking. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that that's kind of his fault. But with Setsu, I, I don't know. It's 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 really rough. Um, that was that was a pretty epic moment though that he he continued to play even with the string snapping. Yeah, no, it was it was pretty nice. So, yeah. so hopefully Setsu like gets redemption in the next episode. Well, so that's what I was gonna say. Like, do you feel like? Setsu has a chance against the rival, or do you think no. they're going to set oh, up where no. like he's yeah he's just going to get <laughs> demolished, and then I guess that leads us into the next arc of whatever the show will go into. Well, I yeah. think part of it, the reason why he get demolished is because it's going to be where something where Setsu's going to realize it, it the, the rival he's he would have done like his own music or mm -hmm. his like his, his own thing. It's obviously it's 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 something that's that's nobody else's, mm -hmm. and I think it's going to kind of like uh, uh it's going to make Setsu recognize or realize that he chose the wrong choice. 
Hmm. Yeah. Or no, the I'm, def option. I'm definitely interested to see like how they're going to take things after this tournament because oh. to your points right you know like this this tournament definitely gave a lot of um spotlight to the rest of setsu's team from mm -hmm. you know his school and everything but i would kind of like it that they don't focus much on them anymore because I, I feel like it's not really their story like yeah not it was cool enough. that they that they show you know their appreciation for the shamisen and it helped them overcome like some of their own kind of struggles in a way but I feel like, you know, in, in the episodes that we talked about before, they got a little too good too fast. Yeah. And I would hate them now to just come into the mix. Like, I think it really should be, you know, Setsu, his, the rival character who we haven't seen play yet. And then some mm. of these other iconic characters from the tournament that I would much more enjoy seeing their growth and, and them kind of continuing to develop each other's sounds in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. most definitely. Overall, yeah. though, this is a Setsu story. Yeah. But I feel like they're just gonna drag uh, Shuri along, like just to be that love interest really, really? for, for Setsu. I, oh, I definitely. feel like it, you uh, have the, you have Setsu uh, kissing one of the like the other that other girl. Like it's it's gonna like that's gonna happen. Um, maybe Except I wouldn't I wouldn't mind if Yuna came back. Like in the start of the next episode, like Setsu is struggling to play like his piece, trying to find his sound, and then Yuna pops out of nowhere. It's like, yeah, Setsu, I believe you. And then yeah. See, I know I it's at like, some point. At some point, you know? I thought that was gonna happen. <laughs> maybe in the maybe next episode. Maybe. Yeah. But, but I'm, then, I'm okay uh, with my too. I'm okay, like I'm okay with my like honestly like the the one that they they make it seem like it's gonna be like the 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 main. Love interest. I just don't care for her. A taboo lover. Too bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. That's. Uh, I feel like they're they're already kind of foreshadowing that Setsu is kind of lose because like yeah. no matter how good a certain piece is, if your whole performance isn't solid, it's going to get a lot of points deducted from your score. Yep. And with 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 Kaji was doing, they kind of mentioned it too. Like, yeah, he may have won the crowd over, but because he broke a string, it shows that he didn't take good care of his instrument. And the judges know that, so they're gonna judge him partially for that. Yeah. So I feel like for Setsu, it's gonna be the same thing. He's he's too all over the place. Uh, he's not very like trained or professional. And a lot of the judges liked how his grandfather's sound was. So if he were to change that, I think he's gonna start to lose points, which is probably what's gonna happen next. So yeah, it's kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't type of situation. At least for as it is right now. But right. I just right. assumed Setsu wasn't going to win. Like, if he wasn't the last one to play, I was like, the guy has no chance. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was basically in my mind, I was thinking, whichever one plays uh, first, they're, they're not going to They're gonna the loser. Win. <laughs> yeah. Or they're, they have a very low chance of winning. And then yeah, it was Setsu, like, I was uh, like, well, rip. Yeah, it's kind of like 8 Mile, right? You never want to go first. You want to go second. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, man, what, what a ride it's been, though. Yeah, like, I'm, From... like I've, I'm liking the show a lot more than a lot of the other shows. It's definitely up there, Hold for up. sure. And uh, like I said, hopefully we get to see Setsu uh, really shine because mm. the, the the man deserves it. The man is pulling all the struggles and punches out. <laughs> Sad thing is, we only have what two episodes? Oh, no, one episode. Yeah, so, the, so they'll end with this tournament. Yeah, but, is it one um, or two episodes? I, I may have never actually updated my list from before. I think this is um, next week's the last one. I think next week's the last okay. one because it's only twelve. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, I, I, yeah. I just, I don't but, think we're gonna get much more of Setsu. I think it's gonna just be the rival. Uh, yeah. we'll see. Let's see. I've never been so angry at the show before, so hopefully it doesn't like <laughs> happen again next week, right? This is a one and done ordeal. Yeah, we'll Fing see. Fingers we'll crossed. See. Fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. Yeah. All right, so yeah. that's gonna be it for my show now, Oto. Move on to our next show. We've got Shadow's House. Oh man! Jeez. Oh boy! Oh, man! Oh man! A lot of things happen this episode, and. Shame we can't get Taylor in because I know we really right? need her input. But, I just like, feel like there's episode. gonna be things that like I missed with you know how much really went down in the last like 10 15 minutes of this week's episode. Yeah, um, oh, Lord, um, so just trying to organize everything. Right? Like, I don't know, did you think like so? We had the, re the revelation that like so these are shadows, they're actually like fairies and they're just taking sh mm -hmm. the form of like they're tr trying to be human, so they're just trying to take the form of a living doll. Like, did you? think that this was like a possibility no or would you, okay. I, I didn't think that was a possibility and you know i was trying to think back to like the very first episode when they show you know these these human kids are well at least what we thought were human uh, kids dolls. being brought to yeah the living dolls being brought to the shadow house and then being you know forced to drink the the soot concoction um which you know obviously as of now of this episode we saw like how big of an impact 
the king soot has on these living dolls and basically just indoctrinating and brainwashing them um but no i totally didn't didn't see the route of you know this kind of manufacturing of these like fairy shadow creatures that were basically creating like mimics of humans or what they believe to be like the ideal evolution of humans yeah i just assumed like yeah it was just like it was just humans with like uh supernatural ability i didn't i had no Mm -hmm. i didn't even think the possibility of like something else like like taking the form of a human so so there's that and then like the whole like sh- like shirley being like 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 disin- disintegrated like just not, just like not even exist anymore like yeah you think i, I think you, you were just you're you were the one who called it like if you fail a debut the living doll probably becomes a veil doll i think you were the one that called that so mm-hmm. that one's right on point but i didn't I didn't expect to see like yeah like the, the actual shadow would be the one to get punished. You'd think that like, the shadow would just get a replacement doll, right? So. And it kind of shows really how cutthroat this society is. And you know, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the the scenes with Edward when he was kind of giving his you know report to the the third level with the king and everything. Um, but damn, yeah, no, I I felt super bad for for Shirley and Rum and. You know, it, it's kind of to this fucked up point that the only reason that, you know, Shirley and Rum didn't pass is that it was almost that Shirley as a shadow was too human in a weird way where it didn't, you know, kind of follow the path of what the grandfather believes is like the ideal like shadow figure and things of that nature. So um, I don't think we've seen the last of Rum by any means. The fact that she is going to become a veiled doll makes oh. me think that down the road, you know, there there might be still some salvation, hopefully, for her. Um, but it also could just be, you know, this is the end of Rem's uh, Rum's line, just with how dark and you know tragic this this show is going to be. But um, the the big thing for me was, you know, the the indoctrinate indoctrination of that tea that they served at, you know, the the debut celebration and and seeing everybody's eyes just kind of glossed over when they were giving like their their pledge to the uh, the Shadow King, and I was just like. Oh man, like Dude, just now basically... we're really getting into it. <laughs> this just basically just flipped the the show so like because it was so focused on like a miracle and the other living dolls, but now with this version, now it's like oh wow, it's now it's Kate's like the whole exactly focus on Kate. like we right like we didn't get to see much for her, but now it's like it has to be on her now. Like and now we're we're seeing her true motivation too, like like how when she she told Emilco she wanted to tell her, her secrets, like oh. So now it's like all these revelations. Like, okay, mm-hmm. Kate really doesn't like. She doesn't like the system. She doesn't like. Yep. How she was underneath, like the grandfather or, like, or the lord or whatever. So now it's mm-hmm. like, well, this is this is going deep into Kate's part. But it's like we barely have any time in the season. So I kind of feel like ah, uh, that's, that's what I sucks know, all, man. That's what sucks they're giving us so much, format. and then now they're taking like, it away from us. And it's like, it's like oh. this, this makes perfect sense in a manga because you have because it, it flows so well in the transition. But it's like in an anime format. It's like. Ah, uh, like not not, uh, saying, it's that, not pretty, saying it's pretty not damn saying, good. Not saying that Miracle's part was like wasn't enjoyable. It's just like uh, it's just like now it just raised the bar even more. It's like but like we're running out of time like TV wise, yeah. which sucks. Yeah. So. Um. I mean, I think you know for sure we're we're gonna get that that hopefully Insta second season coming back to give us more uh more good stuff that we've that we've come to enjoy over it's, this first season. It's hard, but it's hard to think what's gonna happen in Cloverworks after this year, but. Yeah, that's true too. We'll but see. but then, know, again, he, then again, they're all, they're all they're all different. Like all these projects are all managed by different people and different directors. So as far as like yeah. up to the individual directors, the, have to the say, only fear that I would have is uh, and you know not to believe too much of my anime list ratings and everything, but I feel like Shadows House is still not getting the recognition that it deserves, and it's going to yeah. be one of these shows that. Um, you know, kind of like we were saying before, David, you know, sometimes you, you don't watch shows when they first release, but then maybe on a forum or on a Reddit thread, you know, you see a lot of consistent discussion about, you know, these these hidden gems or these, you know, underwatched shows that then you come back later and you're just like, what the hell is wrong with me? Like, why wasn't I watching this then? Yeah. Like, this is amazing. It's just, so because it's, it's on Funimation. Like, that's like so many of the good shows this season are on Funimation. And it's like, right. just like locking behind that. It's like, it's still... It locks behind such a huge audience. Like, I mean, there's still got people who uh, who watch it besides Funimation, but like, still, like, even even about that, it's just like the marketing. Like, like I wasn't yeah. even interested in the show in the first place until like until you guys like were talking about it. So like, I thought this was like on my like on like 
like on the board of like wh- whether I should watch it or not. And mm-hmm. I was like, it's like one of my favorites this season, but like it could have not been easily. So yeah. So again, you know, hopefully it's it's still enough, even with you know maybe is not as many eyes watching it as it should have had. Yeah. Well, um. But I I think if anything, if if it doesn't get you know a second season relatively soon or anything like. I'll just go read the manga, you know, the, yeah. the materials there and everything. And they've done a good enough job to, you know, either boost, you know, existing manga volume sales or, you know, get hype for more people to just join the, the source material. So yeah. kudos been, to them. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm drawn in. <laughs> I haven't seen any news about like the, the manga. So hopefully it does well. The only thing that gives me hope is right. that like, because the interview with Megalbox, they did say that like uh, the first season did well overseas. And that's why they were confident to do a second season. So That's good. And even though, like, even the first season, like, like, I guess it's actually, oh, the first season was pretty hyped, over, like, when it first came out. I just feel like the second season is, like, not as hyped. Yeah. So, I guess it's true, a different situation, true. but still, that, that that gives me hope. Otherwise, like, streaming's, yeah. streaming's still important, like, and I can just definitely see, like, if Funimation wants to, like, invest in this, like, like later and just For sure. more. So, and it was, like, a manga adaptation. It's, like, it's, I don't know. It's, like, you just gotta keep in the source so definitely so but yeah it's, it's um all, like, but again it's also it's all on coverworks and like i i still don't understand how that works is again they're under antiplex which is under sony so yeah right like they, I, they, they're literally under the biggest like anime company all the backing like, and the support is there so it's like again it's just, like, i think it's these, just all these up to the fan in the base to... yeah yeah no. um but yeah other than that um the only last thing that i would end is uh i really enjoyed the moment with uh edward and um kind of the the upper echelon of the shadow royals um and them you know still kind of half-hazardly praising him for his involvement That's in Brian. the debut but then Fucking yeah asshole. except ryan who yeah who's just you know smacking him around and you know kind of just chastising him for for giving away some of the shadow figures secrets and everything so um i'll also, be interested to see i also kind of confused like what like what they're like like are they saying it was not good that that kate like awakened her or, or like a lot of the the shadows awakening their powers during this TV? yeah they, i i felt like it saying... was a thing of, of fear because you know we still don't really know a lot about like what the different powers are that you know these shadow figures kind of possess it seems like you know more and more we're starting to see that it makes you know certain shadow figures excel in certain you know um like either places of like strength or manipulation or whatever it may be but then now kate is really this kind of anomaly that you know can do almost potentially similar stuff to maybe what the king can do and now there's this big fear that well kate's you know recognized her powers or is more open what's her power similarity to the king i didn't well like uh, maybe i'm I'm stretching too far there because we don't really know enough about the king at this time yeah um because I, I'm assuming the king's the only one that can like brainwash the living dolls with like putting his soot into tea and all those other things. I guess what I was just more just trying to say is it seems like Kate is. They only really talk about being really surprised by Kate. So I think that's, that's the reason that I was more so touching upon that. Like because, when they're yeah. talking about John and all them, like it's just like, oh, okay, you know, yeah, they have like strength or they have, you know, whatever. So. That's because Kate was hiding. I, I don't know. Well, yeah. Deliberately, so I think that's why. Oh, true. true. Yeah. So that, that's why, like, um, that's why Edward wasn't expecting to finish because he didn't think she had any controls over her soot powers. But then it was revealed like she was hiding it this whole time. So that's why, that's that's why Edward was, was like so surprised because like the file said she had no powers, but then like, but then. Yeah, she, she... So then I guess that's the thing, right? Like she's such an unknown or an anomaly, and now that there's potentially something that can throw a wrench in this system they're afraid of that that, that okay that that part makes sense yeah because that's the whole point of um that's that's what they're debating too during the debut too like whether or not um the faces should be close to the shadows because they're supposed to be mm-hmm. like a stand-in and that, if you have if you have the two different if you have a different personality then is i like the it's harder to control and they're more likely to be disobedient so i guess yeah, yeah that's so I guess yeah, that's what they were looking at for the debut. It's just like it's just the language they use, like when they're talking to each other. It's just like it's very confusing. Like I yeah, don't know no, what, what I I definitely have to go to back and, and rewatch that scene with with Edward and, and the Royals. Um, and then yeah, not to keep dragging on, but I was surprised like in the debut, like 
how many shadow like royal well i don't even know if you call you know those who pass the debut like the shadow royals i think only the ones that you know get to sit in that room with the king are really the the creme de la creme but it just kind of goes to show like there's a lot of people in this house like yeah. especially at the debut like it makes sense of how I've... big the house was how much yeah like, right they, but then it, it makes i think it makes sense because like it makes sense that they're not human like they're all like these weird shadow forms so like so again yeah. like all the sit powers awakening makes sense of jp because because they're they're fairies so it makes sense that their, yeah. their power is awakened and it makes sense that even like like you know like the maids and butlers get like their own shells and living dolls because mm-hmm. i guess they, they want to replicate a human society that's why there's so many people yeah so. do you think um with like how many people there are is that like a good thing or a bad thing? Or do you think like the characters that we've seen now, like those will continue to be like the primary characters? I think those will be the primary. Right? I think I think the, I guess those... my fear is like when you get too many characters in a world, then it like, you know, if you try to introduce too yeah. many things then it kind of dilutes from like what you have is like going as a really good like group of characters. I think they're just there just to show like the like just how big the, the place the size is not, of everything. It's, it's, not, it's not empty. Like I think it'd be more mm-hmm. criticizing to think to say that there's this big house with like only like five people living here. Yeah. So I think it's like <laughs> that, that more of like just trying to fill in like the the environment. It just again just, it. it just reminds me of like you know like the, the, King, the Kingdom Hearts games when you go to Olympus and you have the crowd cheering but there's no one in the stands. It reminds me of that. It's like you don't yeah. want that, that kind of thing. That's happening. a good reference. So exactly. That's so. what I think of. Like it's like okay, I'd rather have all these random random people in the background and like have no one <laughs> mm-hmm. for sure it's empty for town. Sure. so yeah man uh it's been one one hell of a ride and like we said i think it's it's sad to just have one one episode left next week and then have this oh, is it the, you know is void one more? Of... i thought it was two more oh, actually two more two more two more okay, sorry i forgot yeah. it was 13 two more Whew. so more. still a little bit more but even still i don't know really what more you can do with that like you'll have you know kind of the next setup and then and it's somewhere i imagine on a, a pretty big cliffhanger of sorts yeah. oh. so you will see yeah but can't wait to have taylor back and, and see you know her thoughts as well yeah so that'll be it for shadow house for this week let's go on to our next show talk about vivi mm. uh i like hmm. this episode did you i did, I, did you? I thought it was i thought it was mid <laughs> so why why did you like it, Threaten? What uh, what uh, did it for you? I, I guess it's probably just because such the like uh, such a low bar for these anime original shows, just having awful endings, and it wasn't <laughs> the worst ending. That's kind of sad. Uh, to think of it like that, sir. Oh, it is, but it's but at the same at the same time, it's like you know maybe it's getting better. I I don't really know. But uh, what were what were you guys' thoughts? Know. I'm just got jump right to the end where like where they they time travel back to like right when the thing the thing was happening it felt so yeah. it's like why don't you just go way back further before it's it's so it's such a tight like deadline why don't you give yourself yeah. more buffer space maybe go back like a year five years ten years i don't know like yeah we're going right, right at the moment where it's gonna start and like the the and <laughs> osamu and matsumoto real guys already yeah. gonna die that's such a weird i agree with that but i, th- I think it's the thing that we've been saying too like <sighs> Time travel is such a fickle concept when you bring it into a show that, like, you can just do anything. Like, the thing for me that I really didn't enjoy this week's episode was just that, you know, okay, yes, Vivi couldn't sing when it really came down to it. And I would have much much rather have just been like, yeah, like, hey, you couldn't do it. And now we're paying the price for it. Like, it it happens. But it's like, oh, no, okay, you know, I can bring us back in time again. Like, and they're trying to make this this emotional thing of, you know, now the osamu won't you know be living in this new future based on what he had to do or well actually he still probably could still live but i don't know it's just time travel is such a stupid convenient like tool like oh, yeah it gives no weight to things it's just like okay bad shit happened let's go back in time yep, i'm like, not a okay. fan of it i i think that's the only reason why like they decided to go back in time at the spot that they were at just before that emotional impact where somebody will still die but it could have been easily avoided by just you know, sending them back a little further. Dude, Content, and, boys. Content. Dude, and, like, the part, <laughs> we need the drama. The part where, like, where like, all like the Toak people just start dying off, it's like, man, like it just felt like we're just so we're just rushing through this. It's like, like so many people were dying, and like and like the the girl in like the wheelchair, the leader was like, she ran, just like randomly just got ambushed. But like we, didn't, I don't like it when they do it off screen. So it's like I can't like feel any tension when like you just hear them yeah. in the radio saying, "Oh hey, this happened." It's like. 
I need to see it happen. I don't yeah. want you. I don't want you to tell me over the radio that like happened to you. Yeah. So I will say that they did do a little bit of justice for the wheelchair girl in the sense of like the to the very end. You know, she still wanted to befriend these uh, AIs yeah. and everything. And, and at the very end, I will appreciate the dark kind of aspect of it when she was like, "Oh, hey, what's your name?" And you know, the security bot literally just caps her in the face. I guess. And, yeah. Has like the blood spray. <laughs> but I was like, like, okay, I like, I like that. <laughs> I, I love, I love up. this episode until the point where they use time travel again. Because yeah. I think I brought up that that point where I hope they don't just do like an infinite loop backwards if they fail, and they they kind of did with this one, but except yep. now that the loop is is, is closed off because yeah, uh, like Osama or whatever died in in this new timeline. So no no more no more time uh, re- like rewinding. So yeah. Uh, Dude, I was kind of hoping that they that they did fail and they would just salvage what they can. I thought that would have been a nice ending. Yeah, uh, a, a little dark, but I think it would have been a better been ending a, than a, what a they're twist doing now. To the general like time travel stories for sure. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, because right. right. cool, the whole point with that. Yeah, but the whole point with time travel is because you know you kind of fix the mistake, and then here you are but living the mistake anyway. It, but it's like yeah. we're we've been criticizing this show so much for so much of the time travel tropes. I would give it uh, definitely. Yeah, Tokyo give Revenger. A, I would definitely like, give her props <laughs> for like trying something newer, like, uh-huh. like at least something like. Because like all this stuff we've been saying, like, it's just been like we've just been predicting all of it, and like, mm-hmm. so yeah, I would give her props for trying something new. But nope, we got ten for one more time. I wonder what would have happened though if they if they had more than just all the thirteen episodes. If it wasn't like an anime original. Like just what it could have been, like if it if it if it first started as like a manga or light novel, whichever. I think even, uh, even I don't really with, think it would be any better. Like yeah. it, it would just be I, further I, dragged out. It's more events. The, the way the way I don't know what's trying to tell as a story. Like, like what's the whole point? Like this, the AIs and stuff. Like especially when like when the archive was talking to 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 Vivi, it's like like I don't I still don't understand that interaction. What's what's the message here? Like what are you trying? What kind of story are you trying to tell? It just seems like. Well, wasn't like, it just that Vivian was the first AI to like replicate actual human emotion mm-hmm. yeah. by creating this song? She is the next step in evolution. That's yeah, what they're trying to say. Exactly. So yeah, he's since now, like a hybrid, she's no longer just an AI. Yeah. yeah. So since she is ideally what AI is considered uh, the next step of evolution for humans, they gave her the choice as to like, how she wants the human uh, species to to continue. Uh, so so All I can right. kind of appreciate that because, uh, like I said, like. From from the very beginning, I actually liked where they were going with it, except the whole time you yeah. might think, going back yeah. in time. But I thought it was pretty unique, right? Like, the AIs gave her a choice. Um, but, you know, she's only, uh, like, in a sense, um, human, right? Like, she's faltering to do a simple task, which is to sing, which is what she's built to do. But because of her, like, human aspect or her heart, she was unable to do so because she didn't feel it. So I thought that was really like really cool, really unique. And then yeah. uh, with the weight of that on her shoulders, I was kind of hoping that okay, uh, like thirty percent or seventy percent fell down. So there's still like a decent amount of humans that survived the, the crash. Maybe she'll now go on an adventure to kind of like sing and save the world from the chaos, like the new dark ages in a sense, right? So I was kind of hoping that they were going with that aspect. Oh, um, man, they should have given you the script. That was actually really good. That's, that's what I was saying, Robin. Give me a contract. I got you. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I was hoping for. And then, like, you know, with time travel and then with you kind of going back in time, uh, like, one of my favorite games of all times is called uh, Chrono Trigger on a Super Nintendo. Hmm. And then uh, one of the endings that, that occurs if you lose is that th- there's there's a saying that says, and... Um, this is when you game over, right? Like, no matter how hard they try, they couldn't like uh, contest against fate or go against fate. And okay. I was kind of hoping that this would have been the message here too, right? Because by you being able to go back and pass and change the future, it's kind of like you going against gods or going against fate and changing mm-hmm. it into your own hands, which makes you as a human being more powerful than the gods. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I don't like this because it's just going through that whole cliche trope that humans are powerful enough to change the future if they put their mind to it or their heart into it. And, and I feel like it's just been played too much. Definitely. So, yeah, so, yeah. I can uh, see where they're going, but they, they lost me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, for me, it's like, I just been lost like this whole entire like story. Like I just, yeah, like it wasn't until you explained, cause I guess I get a better sense, but I just don't yeah. understand the point of the story really. So I don't know. It's to save humanity. Or can, can AIs become human? 
that's like the basic of it but it's like i don't understand what right. what, what different thing they're trying to do it just feels like what we've seen before so that's why i was uh, i guess that's what i'm trying to say it's like i don't understand like what difference <laughs> is from like everything else so well, to be okay. fair, I, I kind of agree with the AI. Humans are kind of trash, right? All they do is <laughs> destroy. They're that's, just leeches. That's every AI story, though, so right. I see- so like, I, I, I can kind of see it, right? I think I think the Avengers movie fucked me up, right? Because ever since Thanos <laughs> and the Joker came out, like I've been kind of feeling these villains, you know, like their <laughs> ideology. Like, yeah, yeah, humans are kind of trash. We need we need something to happen, kind of like a reset oh button. Who's yeah. one of those one of those within a society, guys? I am. I am. What can I say? We'll give Ku the script, but we can't give him the uh, the access to the the terminal to decide who goes back in time or not. Yeah, Ku won't right, let us go right. back. He'd be like, "Nah, we're we're here, baby. This is the timeline. We just deal with it." Okay, we'll, we we'll, we'll the Dark Ages once before. We can do it uh, again, right? Yeah, like Dark right. Ages two point We can do that. No, that. Just yeah. When, uh, no, when, when Justin said that, it just reminds me of the Matrix, where it's like the human like betrayed. Uh-huh. He betrayed all the other the other people. Just to stay mm-hmm. in the matrix. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What were well, you gonna a, say, Sredden? On a positive about this show, the animation was very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, but then uh... even then it was like we were saying that like uh David and I were talking like unfortunately, like this isn't gonna be a show that I feel like is going to be remembered. Like, like it's not mm, really no. yeah, like in a you year know. from now, when we're gonna forget all this happened. So Yeah, that's true. If they went with my story, for sure it would have been a Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Know? Oh yeah, there's a higher chance. Yes, yeah. I just it's, yeah, it's like... the, the the loss is not going to be as great as from what you said, Ku. Like if they had just mm-hmm. you know not given that opportunity to go back, and then it develops into like, hey, you know, it's an unfortunate reality, but this is the reality that we're in. Like it would be much more impactful versus you know now we'll have the rewind, and yes, maybe we'll lose you know Asamu or someone. Hopefully they do make that loss still impactful. I'll be mm. really pissed off if they find some way to just fully BS and like, <laughs> you know, sing sing Kumbaya and have a rainbow where everybody, was, you know, is I'm saved still, in this last time leap. I'm so Body expecting, armor, baby. I'm so expecting like <laughs> a, like just like bring it all back to hundred years and now like like again, I don't know why they just uh, think that make just just make Vivi just go all the way back and like now you know to go for the archive in the first place. Because that's the real yeah. reason why like the whole thing went to shiz, because it wasn't because oh. of the singular. It wasn't because of the points and singularity. It's because you didn't, you didn't kill the archive. So that would just that would just well, completely ruin it. I feel. I am glad though that like, it's like you know down to Vivi to save humanity in a sense with like what she knows now. But I am glad mm-hmm. that like Vivi could go back and like say she kills herself so that she thinks like if they tried to spin it where like oh the the root of the reason was because of Vivi. But now that we know it's oh it's not Vivi. It's the archive. I can't appreciate that. Because I, you know, from a while back, I was thinking like, oh, okay, maybe Vivi is the reason this yeah. whole thing started. And then the route they might go is that Vivi will be like, oh, this is all because of me. And then just like remove herself from history. So I can't appreciate that they didn't go that route. Because <laughs> I felt like that would have been a very, you know, easy, like T-ball setup as well for what they could yeah. do. But uh, um, for more, David's part, more, though, the reason... More Gubushing in anime. <laughs> uh, the reason why they didn't go back further, David, is because... One episode. That's why only one episode left. <laughs> All right. Because so, I'm sure I, they would have no, gone. No, man, they could do a real quick montage. You know. Uh... There you go. <laughs> Damn it, guys! Please stop, stop giving them bad ideas. Just stop giving them bad ideas. I know. We, we need I know. It'll all be. Right? It'll all be over soon. So that's all oh, I was gonna say. Like, so I still, I still give it points for being anime original, but like, again, like it's just in a year from now, I'm not gonna remember the show, like, based on what's doing. So. Yeah. Although, like the opening music, like it's starting to grow on me more and more. Like I'm, I'm loving the opening song, like more and more. It just stuck there, my head. Just because, like they they spam it so much during the season, so it's just stuck in my head. No, no, like, like even that, but I like it. It's not that it's stuck, but I also like it. Uh, yeah, there's there's some OST songs that I'm gonna I'm gonna find, and then uh, I will listen to those. But that is really the only remembrance I will have. Mm, yeah. Anyway, so I got next oh, week got, last episode. Yeah. Yeah, right. I, I was gonna say too, like man, like because everyone kept saying how great the Great Pretender was. I was hoping we get like that level here, but this, this we couldn't. I, I so. think this is this, this has got to be better than Great Pretender. Um, yeah, even Great Pretender, I would say the really? ending is pretty pretty I mean, lackluster. Everyone complains about the ending, but I mean before that, like everyone's saying, I was afraid. Oh, it's, yeah, it was, so. yeah, I was hoping we get that that level here. It's but... just it's just our original point, man. 
It's really oh, hard to have shows to just give the full package Pretty Pretender was also nowadays. original. So, again, I was hoping they'd bring that energy over here, but I guess yeah. not. So, that'll be it for Vivi for this week. Let's move on to our next show. We're about 86. Oh, my heart goes out to these guys. Man. My God. Speaking Rip of a Fido. show like Fido. that I, I have faith in ending well, 86 has brought full confidence back, you know, in, in the latter half of a show that I think, and hopefully I'm not jinxing this, I'll, I'll knock on some wood over here, but um, man, I'm really excited to see where, where we take things, especially after just the, the emotional direction that this week's episode had. Dude, I'm, I can't believe like we had like that ending song, I went like 16 minutes in, and then like that last 10 minutes of just... Fido and like his Fido's recording. Yeah, dude, I fucking hate that shit, dude. I'm watching it. I'm like, there's no way, right? There's no way 20 minutes have passed. And no, you look at the they got me as water. well. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank God. There's still time. Oh, yeah. man. Dude, again, man, like, what like, a way to, you know, just got praise directing. Tell. Like, that's like, yeah, and it's, 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 it's funny. Be- oh, go ahead, David. Sorry. I don't know. I was saying, like, just that, the way they did that, the landing, man, the time, that's like some of the best, like, directing I've, like, I've seen, like, in anime. And I definitely got praise it for that. Right. Like it was the whole thing we were saying this whole time. Like, you know, we, we, we found it hard to, you know, really care or, or truly resonate with some of these, you know, characters as they're kind of getting, you know, killed off week over week. But I think, you know, with what they did from a direction standpoint with Fido and and showing, you know, all the events that we had just seen from a different perspective, but now getting that personalization of, you know, at the end of the day, these are kids, you know, they're going through these these kind of um progressions of you know like their first you know relationship or like their commitment of you know like love for 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 different characters and stuff and to to see that through the eyes of a robot you know that you would think you know doesn't really have that emotional attachment i I feel like it makes it even more impactful and just again like you said david like kudos to the directors for doing it in that way like that makes it so powerful so and 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 then just to see Fido be blown up by a missile or a, some some yeah. tank fire at the end, it's like, just like, damn man, Cause like, they're, cause, we can't uh, have anything nice in this show, can we? Fir- like, it's yeah, gonna be real bad. Because the first half was October fourteenth, and then the ending is October thirtieth. So, mm. so yeah, it's been uh, it's been a good journey. And then the fact that Fido was able to shed some tears, I guess, with the oil dripping out of yeah. his eye, yeah, totally got me. But man, it makes you wonder, all right, like, what's I mean, hopefully they answer it, but it looks like it's getting to season two, so maybe they're going to leave it for like the next season. But who is the Legion? Like, I I don't really understand yeah, who they're yeah. fighting against. Cause, no, that's cause that's a I'm, great question. Well, even with Fido, it's like, where did he come from? Like, because we're meant to believe that he's also like someone's conscious inside. Like, conscious is like, where's yeah, where is he from? Mm, like, I think I think Fido was just a. Um, a supply bot unit that but that survived, I guess. Uh, wasn't it like wasn't it more like Shin's first thing? Shin's first encounter. Isn't the reason and why he, he just followed him ever since? Isn't the reason why he can understand Shin can understand him is because he's he's one of like the conscious robots from like one of the human. Like he has one. Uh, of, like, it, the it could just it could just be that he understands robots in general. Whatever they're trying to communicate, I guess. Um, I mean, he has yeah, power. Well, he has power telepathy, so I don't really know what that like what the limits are. So I, I, I don't yeah, know. But I mean, to your point today, we haven't seen much from like the AI standpoint of um, the yeah. Republic because all the mm. you know uh, um, tanks and everything that they fight in that's always been manned by eighty six. There's not much you know like yeah. robotic mm. tech at play there. And then the para raid is its own you know different form of communication. That's, so see, like that's mm. what I was thinking like early in season two. I thought I thought that it was gonna be the other. Where it was like we saw we saw the Republic of Magnolia, like they they're the ones saying like oh these are these are robots even though they're eighty six fighting them. I thought we were getting the same thing for the Empire. Yeah. I, think were, I thought they too were gonna say oh these are our robots and these are our like human fighters. I thought we were gonna get like their mm-hmm. perspective of the like, human fighters, but these are still robots. Yeah. So yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? Is like because we haven't heard much about this Empire. Like, there's definitely. S- much bigger things at play here of like okay is the empire an actual like different race and country or is this something where like you know this land really is just like one people but then you know down the line you have either this faction split or you have that they created this monster in the first place and now they're just you know creating this propaganda of you know wiping away 
what what they did. So mm-hmm. I, I don't know. We we just don't know enough. And like who said before, you know, like, hey, man, we might still have aliens coming into play here. Like, okay. you know, sky's the limit. But um, yeah, man, like, uh, again, like kudos to, to the direction team and everything for really, you know, bringing the show together. Because, you know, a lot of us at the beginning, we were kind of just like, eh, like, I don't know, like, you know, this is this is kind of good, but it's not like, wow, like, you know, really amazing. Um, was like because well, all light now again all light now reviewers are hyping up so i was i had a different expectation in my mind compared to what the show yeah. was I, I was thinking more of like i mean i, had, I was thinking more of a classical like 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 war political drama and here it's like it's something else so i mean even even that like i don't really pay much attention to that so i came in with no expectations whatsoever but even that like the beginning of the of the show was was pretty lackluster i didn't like the mc i didn't like the direction they're going in like the cast was too big for you to even care about it's like, like i like how off. there's only five people now right yeah, that's so i like how there's off. only five people now so you do have some kind of attachment and like even if it was like 10 or whatever like with with fido's like point of view as seeing like how how these child soldiers like like how how they slowly progress through life and like their careers as a as a child soldier like it, may, it really makes you feel for them but uh, again, it's it was done in a way where I just didn't really it didn't draw my attention early on, but as time went on, you you start to see the growth of these characters and start to see like like how how unique each each child soldier was. Uh, you really start to feel for it, and then I guess with the story like evolving like it is, it, it's not only with just the characters now. You really want to know like what's really going on in that world. So it, it took them a while for me to, to for them to build up that world for me to be interested in, to dive into, try to like figure out what's going on. So they're, they're doing it at a great, uh, like they're, they're doing it at a great pace right now. And like, I just can't wait for a season two. Unless of course the next episode is a total flop and then we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. But <laughs> okay. uh, well, let's, yeah, let's hope not. Um, let's, let's hope not. I'm assuming yeah, it's, I'm definitely... it's gotta be, next episode's gotta be back to Lena's perfect because yeah. she wasn't even in it this episode, so I assume, I guess mm. she's trying to figure out what happened to them. I don't know if she's gonna get like, any like, any like, any reprimand for it for like using the mortars and all that other stuff. So, yeah. I feel like she she will like it's pretty high. I, I, I'd say. So probably just her be on trial or her like losing her like her t- title and all that. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, her and Annette, right? Yeah, because they know. did hack into a government system to. <laughs> shoot out yeah. precious uh, like artillery so definitely not gonna take a blind eye to that one for mm-hmm. sure um i don't know i'm kind of interested to see like how things will go for shin as well because even though you know they've kind of escaped from their their current kind of reality of what you know happens to 86 it still seems uh-huh. like shin has not really gotten his piece yet like i know they had those moments around the campfire and stuff where it was like oh yeah you know he's telling more jokes he's sleeping Mm -hmm. more regularly but even then you know we still see him kind of continuing to be very aloof and like continuing to search for something it sounds like the point they're trying to make is like he still hears like the legion voices so i guess he's just gonna be his mission just to but when that go and take him out or put him at their piece yeah like that last that last scene of like when he was killing that last uh legion and then, mm. of course, you know, like the obvious reference of like, oh, hey, like this is a zoo. Like, there's all these like <laughs> dead animals and skeletons trying to zoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe there's other people with powers too. Like, I guess with like the eighty six, they have like telepathy powers. Maybe, uh, maybe the empire has their own kind of like mutant humans as well, and maybe mm-hmm. that's what's like driving their like um military force. Um, yeah. The thing that drew my attention was like there was a town that was in the middle between the Republic and uh, the the Empire, right? But then this village was beyond the the Republic's reach, so it makes me wonder if maybe the Arch is humans, but there's like other powers that we're not aware of. Hmm. Yeah. So he doesn't know much yeah. about the world. Yeah. Right. Hmm. I was definitely hoping to get more from the the town than what they had just shown to like give us more of those nuggets of information. But, yeah, and it seems like their technology is very old-fashioned as well, compared to what yeah. the Republic has with their mechs and whatnot. Well, I think I think it's more a sign of, like, I think it's just these towns were abandoned. And so it seems like the Empire just, like, kept retreating backwards from Republic, and so, like, that's why, like, you see all these old-school, like, towns, well, traditional towns. Well, when, when, they, when they got the boiler with the gas, they mentioned something about how 
like the the gas was still good uh if it's been less than what like five to six years but okay, because of such good quality uh, it lasts a little bit longer so there's like a like only a 10-year time frame for when that town okay, was abandoned i didn't see that in like. part so i thought i thought it was like i thought when it's i thought it was gonna be abandoned like 100 years or something i didn't realize it's gonna be like that no. shorter yeah it looks yeah. like it's fairly recent all right so no, we definitely need to learn more about the world since all so we then, know is just the republic's very propagandistic mm. you know viewpoint of it so, we shall yeah. See. yeah can't wait for next week man Woo, should be spicy i know yeah so that'll be it for this week of 86 on to our next show about to your eternity uh, honestly i uh, go ahead david yeah well, i mean basically <laughs> like 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 reem she found gugu and fushi so not much happened when you boil it down like <laughs> except I mean, for like just, the end it was just me it's me it's just like how like like the gugu was basically like getting pissed off that dream just like because she's being spoiled basically like just typical rich girl stuff like like she was like complaining so much about how oh like i have a huge wound on my arm like you can't you, oh, can't, yeah. you, you can't understand <laughs> yeah. me my huge wound is a fucking scratch mark yeah. Uh, yeah and then and then she's like i mean yes i get like the rich people problem of like oh like i'm just alone no one understands me i always have like these people watching me I'm not my own person but at the same mm -hmm. time you have you have gugu here who was like who literally went through all this hell just being like him and his brother and so like i don't know like i can't help i can't feel empathy for Irene. like when you have gugu and all like, the, the yeah. trauma he, he's been through and also the fact that like yeah. it, all the problems he has right now is because he saved her and she the, she just thinks that like she has no idea. She has, she, right, I mean, and that's the tough part too. Is Gugu knows like he can't. It's tell it's her. one. It's one thing to like yeah. not know. To like, you know, as far as the story, I can understand like to, for it, she doesn't know. But also, it's like she just still like she she's like again over dramatizes things. So it's like 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 he kept criticizing, criticizing her for it. So it's like I can't sympathize with her. Yeah, you know? She she has the story wrong too. Yeah. Oh, uh, where. Yeah. yeah, which is also like another frustrating thing where, but you know, it, it still, Gu didn't say a damn thing. And I thought, like, dude, I don't know how you're not just going <laughs> off right now. Yeah. No, I mean, I think it's going to be one of those things that, like, down the road, obviously, you know, they're going to continue to develop their bond for each other. And yeah, it definitely is hard to have any, like, sympathy or, or much feelings for Reem at this time. So like, hopefully the down only, the road, you know. The only good thing is like the, she still accepts him. I guess even though she didn't really see his face, yeah. I don't know how well. How well I mean, she put the him. she put the pot on her head. If anything, so okay, yeah, she also put uh, a a mask on her face. So that was least, you know that's like that's like the only redeeming part. She still accepts him. So yeah. So <laughs> if, if anything, hopefully you know they get to continue to to grow with each other. But yeah, David, you know with what her origin is and like how just kind of selfish and, and blinded she is by that it's really hard to like whatever she does develop to as a character i don't think we're ever going to really feel for reem it's, it's going to be no. for gugu and, yeah. and what happens to him at the end of the day yeah we'll, we'll see how long uh how long it actually takes before the <laughs> the author takes it takes them away or at least the uh, gugu unless we do a time skip i think we got a little bit of time and again you, you know so? the, the damned opening oh, i feel like what it, yeah, sh what it shows of gugu he definitely looks older is is it gugu but, but i don't well, know if it's actually gugu or if it's like the you know perfect vision of what yeah, gugu like, would look it's, like it's without like his mark. injury because the you know, they, like what they did with mark march yeah they, they showed her older with her being hugged by mentor yeah, and, and, and i'm pretty sure in the opening they show gugu and reem but gugu doesn't have any the, like the face mess. issues yeah. or anything so they could probably be doing that again if they did that then Again, this whole opening is just going to be like a, a big fuck you because it's just yeah. spoiling them what the concept of the well, author is doing, and maybe that's what the fans <laughs> really liked. It could so, have been from the beginning of the the, the beginning of the arc though, because they technically did meet. Yeah, true. So there could always uh, be that little bit, but who knows? Yeah, but like, like I said, um, this show really goes in waves for me. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it really hits those emotional highs, which are really great, and and, and I really can enjoy. But then sometimes I feel like it has those lows where it's like, I'm ready for us to move on from where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. and, and I think next week's episode is going That's... to be that point because now we have, you know, this this figure again yeah. um, going up. So Going to your point, Justin, that, that's how I felt during the March arc, <laughs> like until the end. And I felt that way too at the beginning of Gugu's arc. I, I really did not care about him at the beginning. It was only last week, so 
that I felt more yeah, attached it, to him. It's definitely so, it's weird. So uh, this step, this step, week's episode, like I still, I'm still because of the impact of last week, I still feel like attached to Gugu. So like I'm just like I'm in it for his character. Like that's why I didn't mind this week's episode as yeah. much, like because I was still very much in it for his character and see and see more of his. Yeah, and, and I think to, like, definitely next week we're gonna see Gugu, you know, really step to the plate because I think you know he's gonna be the one that saves um, Fushi from this hopefully. monster. And use um, Sretin, as as you you know called um, that flame ability probably yeah. to uh, to fend back this monster from Fushi. Yeah, I can't believe he can make his food from his fucking hand, man. Like again, this. Oh guy yeah, just... when he grew the the pear or whatever. <laughs> like it's just so oh. weird how they're handling his powers. Like it's just like like it made like the situation of Gugu like so- something that's that's like dramatic and like and and like something that's that's like that. Like you think you can't tell if he's a maker or not, and then it's just like, oh, here's Fushi. He's, I'm just gonna yeah. make food on my own. It's like, I just kill the tension there. So that's like that's like the thing. It's definitely a tasteful comedy, though. I think it's, it's they like don't the, go too over the top with yeah, it. Yeah, I guess, but still, it, it just feel like it ruins the tension. Like when you just yeah. transform a bear, it will. It's like this this super OP like Deus Machina at your fingertips. The only counter is the it's the monster. So it's like. That's like the only thing against it, it but like, this just... show has plenty of attention anyway. <laughs> yes, right. but it's like, I again, I it's like I really, I I really enjoy it when when Fushi takes a backseat to the story and like yeah. and the, the environment. Like I want him to That's be the fair. one just watching human nature. I don't want him to be like like just randomly like bringing making food when someone's starving because of the the hardship he's going through. So. Mm-hmm. I like Kofushi more, but it's a bit. It's basically like his ability is just like depending on emotions that he's feeling, and guess, he must like... have really liked those pairs. And I'm not yeah. sure what. what and what, I think what, it's the only thing he knows how to do. Like he's still very much a not like an infant, but you know, very like much so in his early child, development. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I definitely agree with you, though, David. It, it is definitely the show shines more when Fushi is taking that that backseat and really only coming into the mix when you know the moment properly Save calls for it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. I mean, it, it definitely but, seems like they're establishing kind of this pattern of how the story will be told. And then, you know, I'm just more so interested to see, like, when are things really going to go off the rail between like this God that created God. Fushi and this other, you know, face, 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 ominous face. God, I have to imagine is just like going at each other and they're just, just both going to come. I only the hear mix. like, like Chisaki and, and Ogata, <laughs> like, <laughs> Like whenever they're talking, like I just hear right. that. I just that's the one, like, it's just the void and and not me too from Shizuku. I just basically hear all of them talking to Fushi every time he pops up. Yeah, so, so. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of also waiting to see that kick off because you know they only a... he only shows up when he's like, all right, shit's about to hit the fan. Yeah, like it's you basically know. like when the monster, you, you know, clocks ticking, pops <laughs> yeah. up. So it's like, like are we gonna get? I really get like consequences in this fight. Like, is Fushi gonna lose a form, or is just gonna be like, mm, I don't know, just another? That would be just, impactful. Like, or is this just gonna well, be just, I... just like just another fight, and then he goes away, and then I don't know, you have Fugu story, and then he dies, and then takes his form. Yeah. I wonder if uh, the God figure is ever gonna actually step in, uh, or if he's basically just there to just uh, to say like when there's danger. Yeah, really I mean, I mean we still don't know him. enough about him, right? Like, all we know right yeah. now is, oh, like, yeah. yes, he wants, he's expecting much more from Fushi than what he's getting right now. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like he's a little, you know, disappointed in, you know, what Fushi's mission is supposed to be. Yeah. So maybe there is going to be a point where he's going to, you know, get in Fushi's way in a weird way, if that makes sense, where it's like the creator is not happy with their experiment. Right. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. man, now I'm just thinking like Fushi's gonna fight against Ogata <laughs> in a weird way. <laughs> or not. I... I don't know why, but that's just now inserted into my brain. Like it would be fitting of like your own creation that you know you're expecting to do one thing ends up but becoming like, like you know. That would be way wants... later on though. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. yeah. I can't really, I don't know. Because he wants he wants Fushi to to succeed because he's saying he wants to what was that like uh, the, the other gods they want to destroy humanity, and I think this that's true god too. wants to preserve humanity. I think that's the, the storyline. Yeah. So, and he's chastising Fushi for being so like 
I don't know what the right word to so, use for it, but I, I, we can tell he's not prepared for this yeah. next monster. So it's it sounds like the only reason why Fushi was able to exist because he used that as an excuse to re- as a, as a, re- a recording, but now he's he's getting he's getting in the way. He's trying to like build up Fushi as like as like his weapon against like other people, mm-hmm. and he's trying like to like loophole it by saying, "Oh, like I'm not we're not doing anything. It's just he's just observing, but secretly I'm trying to build him up for against now. you." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Hey, we'll see. Well, uh, yeah. we get to watch the the next episode. Uh, but, it came out today, but none of us watched it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Overall, I'm still like enjoying the show, even if it goes in waves. Like, I still very so appreciate fun. the show. Like, I Same. appreciate Same. the originality and like the and just like the storytelling. Like, like I haven't seen something like this. I, just, I don't know. Like, I haven't really seen anything like this. So I always give it props for being original. Again, long running. So it's got to it's got to yeah. get even better. Yeah. Uh, and we have 20 episodes, which is yes. always yeah. good. So it's which not I'm going ha- anywhere I'm anyway happy, anytime man. soon. Give me more. Yeah. Right. So uh, um, that's all. So that'd be it for our two-year journey. Move on to our next show. Talk about Tokyo Revengers. Hmm. Dude. Again. I got started. Um, tell me, guys. I got started. Okay. Say, man. Go ahead. I feel fucking baited, like, cause last week I spent like last week just like saying so much about like how I can't believe that like, he's gonna die. I can't believe like, like you know this whole thing of like Takemichi not being able to do, like to do his mission, and then like I just, this this episode happened. I feel so I feel so baited. <laughs> I wanted like I'm a huge rant last week. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I get to uh, continue the show as long <laughs> as Dragon's alive. <laughs> oh, so where did where did uh? Going? When did Takemichi learn how to do such crazy dodges and and learn how to do the rear naked chick uh, chokehold? You know, see, that, that was the only one we did not get to see. That. The convenience That's of the shonen. In. He entered the zone. Yeah, like I was like, dude, he's. I don't know, I was wrong about everything in this episode, but I was glad I was wrong. But I'm just so, I'm just so surprised, right? Where did that like talking yeah. to you yeah, so they, bad? They, they, they cranked it way too hard from like a zero to one hundred. Where I agree with you guys, but for previous weeks you're just like, yo, man, I want talking to you to fucking do something for once, rather than just be a little baby bitch saying he's gonna do something. And then you know, it's funny this episode. He finally does something. He gives you know you guys what he wants, but it's just so, you know, over the top. Okay, man. Man. When, when, when in doubt, just always choke hold, I guess. No, well, not even that. He did three crazy like barrel rolls or whatever, and then he was able to like jump behind him with quick speed to get in that position. Wait, we didn't see that though, did yeah, we? We didn't see that part. No, yeah. we, we did. We? No, no, we no, did. they showed it. Oh, I don't yeah. remember that. I don't remember. Oh, I don't yeah, yeah. Like, so I, is that like I, the unedited I, version? Because uh, it cut it out. Was... It cut it out on our end. Oh, on yeah, it, it, I, did, I did watch the uncensored version. Okay. Yeah, I, I, watched, I watched both because I wanted to see what they censored, and I yeah. didn't yeah, see didn't that show part that. being. I was oh. saying, yeah, I only yeah, remember. I, I didn't that. notice that because I watched both. But the only thing that I and that even crunch, crunchy roll is getting sloppy a little bit because mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys pick. Not that it's a big deal, but basically in the uncensored version, the biggest change was that all of the uniforms have their logos and everything on it. So mm-hmm. like their black uniforms have like the yellow embroidered like manji symbols and all these things but even in crunchyroll's version i noticed in the fight with Ki- uh, kiyomasa and his group mm-hmm. um there were parts where they did take it out but then in some scenes they had it back in hmm. and so i don't know if it was just because they didn't show enough of the manji symbol and they're just like we're too lazy to completely you know like <laughs> draw black over every single time the the Toman group shows but hmm. anyways Interesting. Okay, I didn't notice say, that because I, I did the, check both the parts. version that I watched. Like it had him um, the bite, I'm it had look, like biting Kiyomasa, right and then it just cuts yeah. to it okay. cuts to him t- 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 okay. like, yeah, on top, on top of him. I'm, gonna, I'm pulling cold. up the crunch here. Yeah, let, like, let me let me explain to you guys. Right, so after the bite, right, uh, Kiyomasa was trying to punch him to get him off of him because he was like biting too hard. Yeah, we still punching. Yeah, and then Takemichi dodged it perfectly, and then he dodged like that. two I more attacks. Dodge. I didn't see the dodge. Right, right, yeah. right. right. Yeah. In, in, this, in, in the version I saw, it. so he tried to attack him two more times, and Takemichi dodged it perfectly, like like with super speed, and he was doing these barrel rolls, and then you see what? him like just like jumping really fast onto the back of Kiyomasa, and he was able to just get like I the perfect choke hold. Any of that? Yeah, yeah. we missed all it that. Went, it went straight oh, to God. the was, for us. It was beautiful, but it came out of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, that so all that while, while, while he's from the while, episode, while he's like bleeding from his hand from the knife stab. I thought if anything that would be censored, I thought maybe they would have censored the knife through his hand in a weird way in the you know censored mm. version. Yeah, like that would have 
change my perspective on it because uh because we're we were, we were just like what the fuck like how the hell did he just end up on his back yeah Cause we completely missed that because and then um the uh the, then the hand like <laughs> his like little speech like first i thought i was just gonna go out just uh, like just out in uh to, in fumes when he's just making like that big speech runs in and just gets stabbed in the head and just starts screaming i was like well that's about what i expected from this mc <laughs> Yeah, I guess definitely <laughs> watch definitely watch the uncensored version. I guess uh, wherever you can, but it 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 it, it, it kind of makes sense, like how he got there. All right, I'll have to go back then because that'll change my yeah I'm my thoughts on that right point. Now. But it, yeah. it still it, it came out of nowhere. Like this man just got stabbed. He's getting his ass beat. He's he's Again. resorting to biting the guy, but he still had the strength and energy to do all that. Like was astounding. And then again. The power of love, I guess, where he's not like he's on his identity, <laughs> right? Uh, but Hina still loves him, so that gave him the strength to pull through and do all that. Uh, that yep, it, you're it right. Came they, out of nowhere. They the did remove it. In did, the sense did they? Did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's that, that sucks. That's super weird. That sucks. Oh How yeah, because you see what's happening when he's doing the parts that like Chris talking about in the censored version. You're literally just looking at like rain falling like weirdly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll, I'll go back. That's messed up. I don't know why they decided to censor. it. It makes no sense. That's like so you stupid. said, like you know, yeah. get rid of the uncensored version, please. Yeah. Just watch the uncensored. Was the symbol version. there anywhere? Yeah, no. Um, I didn't notice the symbols, but it, there during those whole parts, they don't censor any of the golden lettering and stuff because the right. Manji symbol is always like on the right or left side. But yeah, from the that angle that when they're standing straight on, you can't really see it. So I think that's why they left it. But mm. just watch it uncensored. It's weird in the sense yeah. of like they're going like flip flopping like this and then removing him dodging and, and jumping on Kiyomasa's back, like... Yeah. And I, I was I just wondering, like... Maybe, doing. <laughs> I was just wondering, because maybe the symbol was actually, like, just shown, like, from the other guy that he was biting. Oh, uh, that's too much. A good, maybe, no, that might be a good point. I have to watch maybe, the They may have just got maybe just when lazy. when on Kiyomasa, they showed the Manji symbol on yeah. Kiyomasa's oh. jacket. So that's, maybe probably, just got lazy. That's, probably, that's probably why. So maybe just got lazy, just, and they're like, yeah, just cut the whole it's scene. Just it's not a part. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, basically not like how we got on his back. Not important. Not important at all. <laughs> but what do I know? Yeah, but, but dude, yeah. this yeah, this episode is pretty nuts, though. It definitely gave me hope into Takamichi's well, character for sure. So this is the point where one, because again, like I've always, I've always harped so many times about how like MC just gets his ass be just beat down. But mm-hmm. now that he has like his whole kind of like you know revelation, basically he doesn't want to be a. So I, if I hear him say like this shit again. We're gonna have a problem because this is how this is basically this was the downfall of Subaru for me, where it, it, uh-huh. they make they make it look like the the characters taking steps like forward, but then they end up like getting stuck in the same like hole and then they have to basically uh-huh. like hype themselves back up to that point and they kind of just keep going back and forth back and forth without just you know not without just clearing it and just moving on and becoming like you know a badass MC. I mean, <clears throat> in Subaru's case, it was a lot more severe because he kept dying, so I gave him a pass for that, but. For for Takemichi, I'm not giving that pass because again, he has a mature mindset, or he should, right? He's he a 25 should. year old, yeah, yeah. And um, he's not really dying; he's just getting beat up a lot. So I'm not giving him the pass that I would give Subaru. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. That is the reason they censored it. Is in that scene with the Monty oh. symbols showing the whole time. But they could have easily <laughs> edited it out like they did the other uniform. Maybe because the animation, like who said, is so quick of Takamichi's movements, they were like, "Oh man, we we don't want to, you know, have to edit that many have that mm. many cells from the from this scene." So weird. Just have you stare at Rain. Weird. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say. Um, I think it's like either the opening or the ending. It has Takamichi in like his Tokyo Manju uniform. So hopefully, mm-hmm. this is like a turning mm-hmm. point for him. Like. Again, like I, I, cause like Stray, and like I keep like keep like harping on him for being naive. So hopefully, like this is the last time where, like, if he if he goes back in time to Naoto and Naoto says, "Oh hey, in like October thirty first, this is gonna happen," and he, and it doesn't happen that day, I hope he's not thinking, "Hey, I totally solved it again." Like this cannot this 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 whole thing is like oh, of, like n- this whole thing of not assuming things. Like just I hope they better not happen again. So. Like, well, like, like I'm fine with like at this point, like if if like if he gets his ass beat down, but he's like not a bitch about it, um, <laughs> I'm okay with it. But I feel it, like it's gonna be a thing though. It's it's gonna be a constant thing. I feel. Oh God. Okay. Wait, well, constant like, thing. That what do you mean? I mean, <sighs> well, you know yeah. how with Subaru, like even though he like like passes one obstacle, 
he goes on to his next obstacle and he gets beat down, so he gets depressed he's, and he's, he's fighting death again. Yeah. Right. And he's not he's finding inspiration. I'm sure that's gonna be a constant thing. Yeah. Because that's that's yeah. just who he is, right? You can't like expect him to do one thing and expect him to be a badass. It it has to be like a, hey. a slow build up. Well that's the thing I was even telling David before is like in a in a way Takamichi is kind of similar to Subaru in a sense in different mm-hmm. veins, but it's just interesting to see like you know dislikes for takamichi versus you know then you have subaru as well from like a very you know well-liked show like re-zero so mm-hmm. i don't know it'll be interesting to see i have mean, definitely been enjoying your guys's uh unbiased viewpoints of of each week here and it's definitely i just want to say you know, like i still me, like looking back at the series and really kind of assessing it as well i still yeah. really enjoy the series okay it's just like like we just like we just make it sound so negative like every week but I'm still really enjoying this series. I know. We're talk- we're <laughs> I mean, about it's this- valid though. We're the scene we're talking about. We're, we're, we're just yeah. like this, it's like Takamichi learned instant transmission from like DBZ. <laughs> like he, he entered Ultra Instinct yeah. essentially. But like, like what was this? Yes, there are there are moments like that. Yes. But again, these are things but- that I guess in the manga you don't really like. You don't get that sense, and then once you um, see something animated, you're like, wait, how? What the fuck? This Where did teleported. <laughs> Like overall, I okay. still enjoy the series. I know, like I know, Ulysses in our Discord like, chat was like he was being hesitant about picking up because of the things we're saying. So, I mean, I I, I know like everyone here says it's like it's a miss for them. I think overall, I still enjoy the series, but I think, I think it's definitely something. Again, even looking back now, like I'm loving the fact that it's gotten animated and and I've really been enjoying you know a wider audience now kind of coming into the show, but. I really do think at the end of the day, the manga is kind of the true way to digest, you I know, mean, this series. That 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 six hundred seventy percent increase agrees with you too. <laughs> right? People got the small taste and then they were like, wait, I have to wait a a week every time I want to see the next like twenty minutes? Like, uh uh-uh. uh. Mm. I'm going to the manga. So Yeah, it's one of those weird things, but hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Dragon's still alive. Takamichi grew a pair. Um, and it looks like all is going to be right with the world because he also saved Akun from his depressing uh, future, I guess. Yeah. Right? Oh, that was probably my favorite I moment mean, of this episode, actually, with the, his friends just coming in, even though they were just going to get their ass beat. Oh, down. dude, I love the two that friends that were doing episode. like the yeah. Bruce Lee, like, you know, poses yeah. and stuff. And it's just like, it's <laughs> yeah. so corny, but it was it was a good corny. I would yes. say, you know, so, there were times before when it's like the comedy is just like, that's not the time or place, but this time is like, yeah. all right. Like, I mean, uh, it, it fits the timeline it fits, in the sense, yeah, it fits right? Their timeline, it fits that friend group. Like, you know, they're yeah. trying to talk the talk and everything and walk the walk, but at the end of the day, they're just a bunch of scrubs like Takamichi. Yeah, I mean, all yeah, middle I mean, schoolers so. and high schoolers, by the way. So, yeah, yeah I was gonna say right. to Ku's yeah. point, like, you assume like he saves Aku in the future because that future is where, like, is where Aku has to work for someone, the other guy in Tokyo Manju gang. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we'll have to see what my mind is, but uh. it was it was a lot more realistic uh, with their with the friends and because I was thinking like it was either gonna be uh, uh, I Mikey Dracula, coming I thought, in. I thought Dracula was just gonna like just gonna beat up everyone in this injured state. Oh, like, show all he was. <laughs> no. No. At that point, it just let the man that, die. That would have yeah. been bad. <laughs> At that point, it just let him die. That's why I'm glad it didn't happen. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this was actually like my favorite. It was like favorite outcome, even though I think it was just kind of like really random that 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 ga- that they showed up anyway in like the back alley. Like, what what the hell are they doing, just roaming back yeah, there? Yeah, there's you know, a lot of convenience. Yeah, yeah like, but oh, it's anime, on. so that's fine. So I got yeah. past that. But it yeah. was a uh, but but with the his like their friend showing up, I thought that was actually a, a you know a fun moment. Even though I think they all knew they were just gonna get their asses beat down, but they and were they, they, they had their back. still getting the shit yeah. beat out of them. They were just yeah. there to delay so the ambulance you know could, yeah. could arrive. That was good. I like that moment. So, all you need, baby, just numbers. Well, yes. You know, numbers. like I said, there's a lot of content <laughs> still to develop, so you can take that for what you will of where the story will go. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I want I want Takamichi to grow into like the ultimate brawler now, right? Because all of a sudden he's gained this ability to like he knows jujitsu moves now, so I want him to <laughs> develop that and be the next big guy in the group, the jujitsu master yeah. or whatever. That'd be pretty cool. I will say I did appreciate that they showed uh Takamichi's arm being like purple from how yeah. hard like Kiyomasa was grabbing him. So they're mm. not going full like you know. Oh, okay, Takamichi becomes full brawler badass, and he's like completely unscathed from what he did. So yeah, I was just very good small off. details. I called, it, 
Yeah, I was game. very thrown off how that happened it's, because yeah, yeah, uh, they same. cut a lot of that stuff out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so true. I know dude. another gripe a lot of the people didn't like is like when Takamichi did get stabbed in the hand. It's like, why do you throw uh-huh. the knife away? Like that was you know yep. Yep. anything. I mean, it's it strange. doesn't fit Takamichi's character to, to be, use to be a fair, knife. But... I, think, yeah. I think he was more afraid like the knife getting stolen back. So I don't think. Yeah, no, I don't think I it's Last oh, episode shit. showed that Takamichi will not use tools that is close to him in his advantage. Oh, like, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, exactly. oh, use the baseball bat. Nope. The, he has a knife. Um, Fuck okay, the knife. Too easy. It's the base, too the easy. baseball bat. Okay, the baseball bat's one thing, but no, I'm just going to stick with, like, he, I think he's more afraid. I can easily see the knife being stolen away from him again if he had it in his hand. So I can, I can see yeah. Well, then that I think they did show it again too. Like, yeah, when the when the buddies came and they tackled the other guy who had a knife, and the knife got like thrown between like the school gate or whatever it fell like, through. So I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't trust these guys to have the strength to hold a knife and not not get stolen. Like, yeah, some, that's true. Yeah. The, 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 the typical right martial arts move. Like, I just easily get stolen. So I don't, I don't blame them true. for that part. That side. I don't know. Dude, we got, you got middle schoolers riding motorcycles, so uh, I mean, yeah. there's, there's some the realism. Thing, at the end of the not day, really. It, you'll it's, never, I will say, the age will never be something you'll get over. Nope. With the type oh, of things that they get involved in. I'll get used to it, so, then. I'll just have to yeah, get used it's to just it. one of those things you'll get used to it, and you just have to ride you'll it forget. off. You'll forget. It won't, it. It won't yeah. bother you. Exactly. Yeah, right. 14, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, you know. That's what yeah. I Oh, but you're, uh, just built, you're just built differently during that time, you know. Okay. Apparently, <laughs> last thing, last thing. This was actually my like. I, I like this episode a lot more than like it's. It's been a while since I've actually like really like like liked an episode or thought it was like better than the rest of them. I'm glad to hear. Uh, even with kind of uh, I also I I need to go back to see just like how many more things I missed. Maybe. Because maybe like things just seem so off for me because I, I have no idea what they've been I mean, cutting that's, out. That's, that's what like I think that's also part part of what Taylor was complaining about the directing too. I think. Yeah, no. I would say the two like most changed episodes would be one what we you know learned from from this week's episode, and then two would be um, that scene where uh, Takamichi and um, Hina meet Toman for the first time, and they arrive on all the bikes and everything. And then they have like the first official meeting. That one is heavily censored and like oh, weird yeah. directions in the censored version. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll have to yeah. go back and like, check like some things said, out. I mean, it's one of those things that, you know, yes, Crunchyroll is the easiest way to kind of digest the media. But, you know, if you're savvy in terms of getting the uncensored version, the full story, it's out there. It's, yeah. it's the way it's, to it's do out it. There. Like, it is. So. If we do a feel I taught me anything, uncensored is the way to go. <laughs> that's, you know, <laughs> that's, well, that's a different story. Un- unfortunate sorry. reality of, you know, people just mm. not being able to accept art for, for the way it is. Mm. Yeah. So. And then I'll just say yeah. like, one, one last thing. It's like, this, see, this, again, like the how, like, I keep saying, we, I, feel, we, I feel it's like we're too negative. Like, that's also why I want to change the format. I feel it's because, like, the weekly format we do, we just like keeping up these oh, points that sound yeah. so this is the perfect show that if we watched everything and then we were coming back like, i'm sure i think, the I think we have if we, if we binge, yeah if we do the a new format where we just binge it and talk only about the show as a whole i don't think we come off too negative so again oh, no, but this, one... I, I meant to be negative <laughs> okay well besides trend because he's a hater but hater like, oh. I, I think yeah i think you're valid Trent, for what it's I, worth I think, yeah like... but it's getting better if for anything like I, sure. yeah, I think this is like one of the one of the reasons why I want to switch the format. So hopefully, fix this issue right we're having here. So, hmm. so that's gonna be it for Tokyo Revengers. Uh, on to we our... still don't know how many episodes are left. So yeah, yeah, to... take that for what you will as well. well hopefully, yeah. hopefully get more. Um, but we'll sure be more our, than twelve. Move on to our next show. Let's talk about uh, My Hero Academia. Quick. Mm. I have nothing to say uh... in this episode, so I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you don't need to hear my catchphrase. I know what's going to happen, so I'm interested oh, to hear do you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I forgot that they still didn't actually pass that because it's been so long. Mm-hmm. But I forgot that they were still in that whole uh, uh, Heroes license. Provisional yeah, that, license. Yeah, the class. provisional license stuff. Yeah. I completely forgot they were still in it. Uh, my favorite moment was <laughs> was when they actually cut to uh, to uh, oh, what, what's his name? The uh, the number one hero, um, what Endeavor? Endeavor. Yeah, Endeavor. Endeavor. When they cut to Endeavor, and they basically he, he was uh, responding to Todoroki's uh, text message. Oh, text message. Well, that was, that was, flash was, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. finally. <laughs> yeah, but basically those moments are always good. Also, it's a bunch of Bakugo, which I love. 
It, um, yeah. it was just basically just you know, this, the the whole back and forth stuff. Where I, I like how ba- like Bakugo is just in the group now with Deku and All Might. Like he's just like the third member that's just having to listen to all this stuff and just thinking like what I could have had. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's, for it's all we know, he's a good time of him shining with no filter. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For all we know, if it wasn't for plot armor, Bakugo was easily the next candidate for uh, one for all. Well, it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be uh, Lamillion. Lamillion, right, right. But I'm saying, like, if he wasn't there, right? It was, if it was between Deku and uh, Bakugo, like, obviously Bakugo would have been compatible as well. Yeah, Deku didn't have shit. <laughs> so. Yeah, so it's kind of whatever. But yeah, man, like, I'm really loving Bakugo's development. He's definitely becoming more and more of a badass character. Like, like I said, it reminds me of Vegeta, right? He's kind of an asshole, really arrogant, and he's actually kind of weak, and he requires the MC to kind of save him. From these predicaments, but they're like Bakugo slowly, slowly start to come out on his own and prove that hey, he too is worthy of like the MC status, I guess, right? Hey, yeah. saving people too, even though he's yeah. saying, you know, if you want to commit suicide, go somewhere else, yeah. right? I think so... the thing that I can appreciate about Bakugo <laughs> is like I definitely see the similarities to Vegeta, but he does it in such a different way of like how Vegeta did it with Goku because I almost feel like, mm. oh, yeah, in DBC, like. Vegeta, yes, does have his different route, and he goes through all, you know, these trials and tribulations. But then at the end of the day, then he's just doing the same moves as Goku, essentially. Like, okay, I'm going to turn Super Saiyan Blue, or I'm going to, you know, do this, mm-hmm. and all these things. Um, so I think that definitely is kudos to Bakugo in, in this sense of a, like, rivalry that's uh, par- uh, beneficial for both parties. Mm-hmm. Um, what did you, did you guys enjoy, just from Sren, your end of the comedic aspect of um, Endeavor, did you enjoy when um, Monoma is first introduced to Ari, and Ari's just like, "Oh, you're like the bad guy from school, or whatever they called him." Uh, I forget what it was. There was like some type of joke that I thought was, you know, he's he's the bad part of UA apparently. Yeah, the bad part. And he's just like, "Wait, what?" What? Yeah, yeah. like, Lamillion is just completely like spinning these stories of <laughs> of Monoma. Uh, yeah, I like how Lamillion can't stand the guy either, and I'm not can't stand him, but also like recognizes him as well. He's yeah. a bad person. Yeah. He calls him for what he is. Yeah. But um, even though Monoma seemed like he seemed like almost like normal, nice, like when he was actually with Ari and just mm-hmm. basically just like dealing with that. Like you where you actually see him talk normally and not yeah. act like he normally does, which I thought like damn. Like I actually like him in, in that like in that version. He should be yeah. more like that. Yeah, he's actually pretty cool, right? Yeah. He's yeah. explaining his power. He helped Deku kind of explain like their power too in a sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a really stand up guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know why he has to be a bitch uh, all the time, but um and then I think right. we all basically assumed that Shinzo was gonna be going to the the like the, the either class A or B, right? I mean I'm assuming it's gonna be A, right? Oh yeah, I mean I would think so too. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, why not? Everybody yeah, wants yes. We'll see, yeah. Justin. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. <laughs> wink wink. Nah. <laughs> that has no bearing, honestly. We we will we will see. We will yeah, see. The real yeah. honest uh, uh opinion. Um but I'm hyped though. I'm actually hyped for him to be in the class. I, his, I think his, his, just his character is just very interesting. Yeah. So he's gonna be a great support work. character. But again, I, I don't know. Not, yeah. I'm not really a big fan of the guy. Hey, so. hey man, I'll take more Aizawa. Aizawa's not really a. Well, actually, no. This guy's he's kind of set up to be a little bit more of support and <laughs> definitely needs a team with him. So mm-hmm. just kidding. I'll take yeah. I'll take that back. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying, and then it, uh, we won't talk about the preview. I'm- Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, sir. I imagine you watched the preview, right? I did. I did. Mm. It's I don't know. Well, I mean, you can spoil it, it, on there. I, yeah. So for, for well, you guys, it's basically gonna be a a little bit of a filler. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> damn it, dude. Really? <laughs> yeah. Come well, on. You may well, enjoy cool, it. It's cool. going Hold to be on. a tasteful filler. Cool. Do you? Cool. Do you? Do you ever miss like winter or Christmas or anything? No. Not really. Do you no. enjoy okay. well, characters in some elf outfits yeah. or some do, nice, you know, Christmas? Yes. Outfit. Say no more. Say less. All right. There will be some nice. Less. There will be some nice fan service then. Yes. But come on, you can't. I was. You can't do that, man. It's I like just that. not oh, right. No. I was. I was also it gonna was say so <laughs> bad when I saw the preview. I was just like, oh no. I was oh, gonna say, do you like God. watching a Christmas episode when it's like ninety to a hundred degrees outside in the summer right now? I yeah. Mean, it's, yeah it's, so, it's so weird Justin to do just like you know for pain. us it's summer. Oh, dude, no, I do. It's uh, actually going to be high 80s, low 90s. Oh, no. Oh, it's kind no. Of 80s. Oh, it's no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know your, I don't know your triple digit pain, but, you know. Right. Um, I think yeah, we're out of that. It, but... It's very unfortunate that they chose to air this sort of episode during the summer month. It's like, okay, it's yes, not, it's Christmas no, in, in the Australia. Maya world. 
But yeah, yeah right. Shout out to all you Australians, man. Have you, those you get flipped uh, seasons. It feels like it could be oh, a, like an OVA episode. Uh, yeah. They could have just kind of saved just, for a different I'm, time. I'm more of the fact that like, man, we had ten episodes for the the the, the, tra- the class class exam thing, the class battles, and then we had this episode, and now we have yeah. to have another uh, Christmas episode. <laughs> My like, well, we're learning more and more about the show. They like to just waste. Uh, they like to yeah, just you waste get to time. learn more about the characters. You know, when they're not, you know, becoming heroes. Yeah, isn't that fun? See, like, these episodes perfectly Guys. fine if they. <laughs> it's perfectly fine if they want to like have these episodes just outside of the normal episodes. Just have it as an OVA episode at a different time. Uh, I think uh. that would fit better. Uh, it also just kind of feels really weird to have it, and like I said. But what are we in? I mean, I, I guess I guess it is what it is. It is Christmas time in the world, so it's it's bound to happen. But I'm actually, I mean, well, I was I, oh, I was ahead, expecting dude. more. Like <laughs> you, you, you're finally we're we're finally getting to like the meat and potatoes of of the show, right? Mm-hmm. First season five. Let, let's move on with the story. You know, yeah. This season <laughs> five. We're hundred episodes in. No yeah, this, meat and potatoes, right? We yeah, got, this, this, we got this, Deku's this new power coming up. Episode a hundred. That's true. So. That is insane. Yeah, it's crazy that the bur like this are we're already this far in. Like I'm That's sure it's close like to it. the end because now we're getting to like the the origins of one for all and all for one. Deku's like true power is starting to show itself, and now that with this episode it touched base more on it, like build off on that. Why are you going off on the filler now? And then I'm pretty sure once you go back to the original like. Uh, like canon source, you're gonna take another two or three episodes to kind of have Deku figure Wait, out this, how to this control Christmas his heart. Thing not in the original well, manga, or that's what I'm trying to look for right now. I, if it makes you feel better, I, 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 I want to say it was. I don't think they. I'll just say I don't think it's filler as in like as an anime original. As in filler well, as in like it's not like you know it's not exciting. Well, you're just not if, progressing much of yeah the story. Well, I was gonna say from the preview, it shows like if it makes you feel better, Ku, it actually does go into uh, canon some point in the episode because i do show a bit of it but i'm I mean, assuming it's probably gonna be the end of the episode it is canon because it's following the manga so like i don't know yeah. what you, i don't know <clears throat> I, I don't know what you mean by like by unless you say you want them to skip that I part don't know. of the manga I, I mean, after I, learning in dragon ball z that the uh the grand kai arc was filler and not like canon i don't know what to believe anymore you can I mean, you like, can throw whatever at me and tell me it's <laughs> canon and i don't know yeah. Well, I meant like they could have added something more, like you basically just cut the Christmas part out, but then they could have yeah. just added something more, like basically it's. Show- I'm assuming it's going to be like the end of the episode that mm-hmm. they were showing, where it you know something goes down, and then they could have just added more to it. But uh, yeah, I guess wh- what do I know? Yeah, who, kn- who knows? Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This isn't my but, job. Um, I don't know. They definitely seem like uh, I'm on the chapter right now. They're doing things a, a little bit, a little bit of a different order it seems like which is fine but but it looks like well they showed some stuff that hasn't been shown yet but it actually Mm. was shown before what they showed in this last week's episode so they're taking a little bit of of different liberties but i'm trying to see i I guess Uh, i don't i don't see any christmas trees or anything the thing that irks me the most might be a full-blown filler (laughs) the thing that irks me the most is is if they they take this momentum that they're writing right like the past two or three episodes like the momentum has slowly been building up higher and higher i'm more hyped about deku uh todoroki and bakugo and then like i would like them to keep building it because we're at we're at such a low before with the uh with the tournament arc that they had so i wanted them to keep building it not like do another cooldown episode with filler or whatever so I guess that's why I'm more disappointed. That's hero. Yeah, that's, uh, it's, I'm used to it. Yeah, it's filler. You said there ain't, there ain't, there ain't no like, outfits or like, anything. It used to be better than this. Like they used to be so good at, at like at at pacing, and now it's like. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like, they, yeah, they, they they did, but now I'm so used to basically like this hero. It, it is what it is for hero. You feel like they're doing that though, just, just because they they know like how big they are. Does that make sense? Like yeah. when you're, you know, like the number one show, you can you can do that. Like you're yeah, like, they... you're, you're like the only like you're the play, your placement shown in because there's nothing else. Yeah, going on besides and, one and piece. And they basically know they're as big like from us that are just like man, like it sucks to know like this is this coming up. So it's a filler. It's like well, it's not going to affect them at the end of the day. Like people are still yeah. going to watch enough of it's such a minority that would be like I can't believe you're not you know so truthful <laughs> to the exact chapters of the manga and everything, but. 
Well, the, the amount of the recapping is just becoming too much now. Like, I, I can see, you know, back in the day yeah. when you're actually watching it on TV and there wasn't a way to actually stream it or go back to it. Well, there's still now it's on just... TV in Japan, sir, so you have to think about that. Yeah, yeah you can stream it. There's streaming I'm... services. In... I mean, yeah. that's just a shonen thing, though, and I feel like that always will happen with shonens yeah. that are animated. Yeah, which I'm fine with just, just skipping For it, this, like, it's... demographic. Yeah, man. Yeah. If I if I like was not called hero and I was just gonna binge it, I would definitely like two x speed through like the first like half. Oh, well, there's a bunch of stuff I would skip around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think like me and Taylor said, like this tournament arc that when it was coming out, we probably waited a few weeks for a few chapters to come out just, rather than just reading a chapter yeah. each week just to binge. Makes so, sense. Yeah, it seems fair. But again. Good things uh, will come. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm excited for this. They will come <laughs> next. It's this yeah. next part. It's just relegated to the shonen. Now he's like, yeah, yeah. I'll just wait. But again, it's 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 the testament but, to why the format change will be good because yeah. now you know with the format change, yeah, we won't we won't suffer from these weeks of just like man. Every All right, we had a Christmas room. show. Okay, what are we going to talk about with the Christmas filler? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you no. Know? Every time I see the million, it just makes me sad. <laughs> I just want to see that guy basically just being a beast again. He is best boy. That's for sure. He's, he's up there. Yeah. Uh, I'll hopefully. say hopefully this time with yet another movie coming out, like hopefully there's no big epic battle that they're not cutting the budget from putting into the movie. Yeah, That's let's uh let's not slideshow any more fights. They already, did, they already did the damage. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, that is that's the one thing that I will say. Like, yeah, they can do fillers, they can, you know, oh, twist a little shit. bit, but to make one of the most, well, top, it was up there, like, it was, it's it was up up there, there in terms of fights from what you've seen as an anime only, and for them yeah. to do what they did, it definitely. Yeah. Or a movie yeah. that like was barely what I don't know. I, I keep saying it's not canon. I don't want to believe it's canon. So yeah, yeah. yeah it was also you know, just basically what what they did, with, especially like afterwards. Like what happened to a million too? Really, you couldn't give this guy a fight. You yeah. had to give him a live show. It's definitely odd because right, it's like two episodes from this tournament arc. They went pretty high budget on some of the animation, yeah. and then it's just like for nobody. You didn't, yeah, you didn't do that in the past. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oof. I wouldn't call you know Ida and you know some of the classmates nobody. Oh no, those but, ones were nice. But yeah, those ones were I nice. I know you say it. Yeah, yeah. Talking about mushrooms and stuff. <laughs> mushrooms Are in you the comic book. Invisible yeah. girl. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Anyway, yeah. moving on. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm done. I'm, I'm excited for the next arc, <laughs> regardless of the next of, of Christmas yeah. and summer. I'm ready to yes. hear about what. Uh, Full dive did threaten when you talked about it earlier on in the show. Yeah. Uh, are we are we ready to move on? I think so. Uh, yeah. 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 So. That's, anything for, else? That's, yeah. that's it for my here, TV. Now it's like, if you want to give any shout outs, feel free to, sir. That's, it's all yours. that's my one shout out. My, that's my one shout out I have this week is next gen full dive. Uh, it's a. <laughs> there's cool. some pretty, what there's some pretty ridiculous ass moments. <laughs> uh, well, well, you know, when me and Ku were talking about earlier about how. Uh, that they nerfed somebody's assets. Uh, there's a character in Next Gen Fold Out that could definitely use a nerf, and where they, they're just huge. And even like basically, like where uh, bursting you at the seams. Oh, God, it's terrible. Well, yeah, because you saw the first few episodes, right? Yeah, of it, is where it the you fairy saw the... girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's her. Oh, and man, you that... find out it makes sense. I knew right away if a character was going to get a big yeah. endowment, she'd be yeah. the one. I mean, yeah, you find I, I, I haven't seen any of Full Dive, but it just reminds me of like Darkness from Konosuba. Like, I, I really like the light novel, like art of her. She looks like I, I don't know. I really like it. Where, but then, but then, like in the anime, like she gets like her proportions are like way, way out of whack. That's so. everybody. No, no, yeah. Konosuba. Everyone was perfectly proportioned. <laughs> this, however, no, no, no. Dark, just, dark, what are dark... we doing with like a, a Galen type situation where? <laughs> You know, I'm just gonna say, like, I, I, I really like darkness, light novel, <laughs> crazy clothing. So. Yeah, this one is uh, not proportional. It's huge, but it's not proportional. Like I've seen bigger, uh, but at least they made it more. Uh, I guess appealing to look at. I guess. Character. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about this one. They're just so, they're like they're just not shaped correctly. <laughs> so are we talking about like some? Uh, and but I, I may be throwing myself under. The, well. No, no, no. Continue. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Sorry. I'm kind of like the point of that part is that it's actually it was kind of just like a funny moment where you find out that the you know the reason why like the the fairy girl is wanting uh I think his name is I think his name's Hero, isn't it? Hero's in my head for some reason. Uh. Anyway, no, I MC. think Hero's MC. 
Here was okay. MC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, for Kamui. Okay, yeah, for the yeah for the MC, um, you find out like you know why she wants him to you know um complete the game or win the story or whatever because she wants to marry whoever like wins the story. Mm-hmm. You find out that she originally got turned down by the guy who like created like the 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 you like was it the like the the strategy guide in a sense awesome. the base yep. how to beat the game. Mm-hmm. And then you, you basically, you know, because she actually ends up just like randomly talking to the guy, finding him in the game, and asked to like marry. I think it was to marry him or go out. I can't remember which one it was. Yep, to go out. Mm-hmm. And basically, he just talks about how like yeah, like he is he has no interest in her assets in a sense. <laughs> like it was due to her assets that he declined her. He yep. he didn't just say no. He fucking destroyed her. Yeah, you know, basically destroyed. Yeah. Uh, and it this caused her to go down a dark path to get revenge on him by marrying someone else who can also beat this impossible game, and then mm-hmm. apparently invite him to the wedding and give him a middle finger. That here is our that is our sole intention for finding another person who can beat this game. Apparently, so <laughs> yeah, uh, solid, solid. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, very good the, rationale. Like it was just like it was actually hilarious. But at the same time, like I hate this fairy girl. Like she's really done like nothing to help this guy. And she's just terrible comedy relief. <laughs> That's not true. She did great work in the last episode. That was like the first time where it's just like, damn, that was just brutal. Or shit, where uh, she was almost true. just savage. True, true. But she did do something useful. You know, that was so one thing, but then, she, but then she went to being just trash again this last episode. Mm-hmm. Where it's just, she's just, just saying, just bas- or it almost basically sounds like she's just getting the MC in trouble. Like, like, from, like most of the time. I mean, it's okay, you know. There, there, there's a prize waiting for him if he completes her task. So okay, he he has better party members now. Uh, I I guess I guess honestly, but, they're all they're all pretty iffy, and you, you they're feel like they're like they're all dangerous. shady. Yeah, I would not choose any of these girls whatsoever. Um, <laughs> Damn, so that's it, saying a lot then. Yeah, like I would not want to deal with any of this <laughs> this this craziness that they got going on here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. This week's show was kind of lackluster. It was funny at parts here and there, but uh, it looks like the next couple episodes is when it's going to um, be hyped, I guess, because he's fighting against the Goblin Evasions again. Evasion number two, I guess. So uh, yeah, hopefully we get just, to see something more exciting. Didn't he just run into one at the end of it, too? Yeah, and the man was taking a shit, so he doesn't have another accident, right? And then, like, it's like oh, right yeah. when he finishes, there was a Goblin on top of the, the Porter John that he was in, looking oh, at him. God. And then that's where it ends. I can appreciate that. Yeah, sure. I was trying to find what what that guy said to basically set sa- and just basically savagely destroy the, the size of her her breast. Yeah, but I, I can't find it though. Like what he said was it was I I laughed out loud. Yeah. It was basically like there's limits as to how big you can make your 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 chest, and she was just like way over the limit. Like yeah. it's so disgusting to look at her. Uh, something about like a like oversized cow or some shit like that. Yeah, something about cow. Yeah, something about like cow. Play on. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, otherwise, I, I don't think I have anything specific yeah. to shout out. So it's, have it's you still been watching guys. Shaman King at all, Stratton, or have you been putting that on the back burner? Oh no, I, I'm I'm still caught up with it. Okay, how has that been? Because I I actually haven't been keeping up like the last I think two episodes now. Have you been uh, enjoying no, it, or has it? Yeah, been yeah not bad. Yeah, kinda... I, not bad. Um, basically, Ren, uh, the previous episode, I think, got his ass kicked. No, I think it was this episode where he got his ass kicked by his dad. Um, oh, is that when he goes back to like? Yeah, back home that kills father. Yeah, yeah. kills father and yeah. stuff. Yep, and then okay. uh, Yo and everybody's there. Um, mm-hmm. And I think they, they, they basically took care of the Power Rangers very easily. Uh, <laughs> oh, that, like Chimera, like oh yeah. He basically, think, like, okay, yeah, I remember now. he basically said, like, oh, these guys are, like, you know, some of the strongest and just took them all, like, nothing. <laughs> and then, um, and I, and I think, I don't, I can't, the, the, it's it's somewhere around there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. like, I'm, I'm still okay. going with it. Yeah, basically, Yo and, uh, Yo and Ren, they're about to team up and fight against his father again. Ah, uh, so. okay. So Got that's it. that's where I left off last week. Okay. Well, seems to be pay, uh, progressing at a, a good enough pace. To hopefully get us to the meat and potatoes of the Dude, series with the, the one, the one episode where Yo was fighting against the uh, the necromancer, and then the necromancer like uh, caught Manta, and it started like dissecting the dude. Mm-hmm. Dude, I did not remember that part in like the kids WB version. Like that oh, shit really? was rough. Dude. I did. Yeah, I remember when I talked about it. 
I thought it would look. To, I have to go back to the original, but for because I watched the new versions airing of it, I thought it was mm-hmm. worse than the original. Was it? I thought, I thought it was like the like the animation style. I felt like made it a little bit more gritty. Where like that's oh, the only thing I will maybe. say. Like this new animation style for Shaman King, like it's good, but I, it almost feels like too clean. And this is yeah, me, like yeah. super rose tinted, you know, glasses I'm putting on right here, but. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It just doesn't have like that weight to it that like the original, you know, like back in the day, uh, old school, like 90s, early 2000s anime had to it. Like your Yu Yu Haku shows, your Dragon Ball Z's and everything. So but man, I, don't remember, I don't remember it being so like gruesome in a sense, like so or so explicit. Yeah, I thought it was pretty yeah, fucked no. up. I was not expecting that. I mean, yeah. it definitely has the moment. I'm, I'm well, I won't go. Never mind. There'll be characters down the road that kind of have some explicit stuff as well. That at the time, yeah, yeah. I was kind of like, oh, sure. it's kind of, it's kind of dark. Like, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. But we got a little while before that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but good. Oh. No, I'm glad to hear that it's going oh. well. So, okay. any other yeah, shout-outs? I don't have any shout outs either. No? So. All right, we're ending it for here because we've been going for a long time. So, let's get into our show. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye. Thank the audience for joining us. Thanks, Johan yeah. and Tizzle and all of you. Tizzle. Always fun to talk. I want to thank the panel for joining this week. Thanks, guys. A lot, a lot of fun no discussions here. We're nearing the end of the season, so we're getting a lot of like heated, heated discussions. Ooh, yeah, on. I so, can't fun. wait for the next format. Yeah. yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be good. It'll be good. Uh, when you get to rant for like you know the whole the whole time for 20 minutes yeah. yeah i want to have heated discussion guys i want you to call me a, a stupid bitch but like no your opinion is invalidated you're wrong <laughs> you're just wrong yeah you're i don't know i, 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 want, some, I, I want some heat guys from spice we'll we'll see we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it we'll goes, see how it goes. <laughs> i'm, I'm we'll definitely see. interested to see how the dynamic of the conversation changes for sure mm, yeah. so so yeah so that's gonna end it for here we'll see you guys next week bye Bye. 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 At all, since uh, Leo's here, I'm gonna focus on on Stren. You can see, you can full screen. I'm gonna focus on Stren so you can see all the figures in his background. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, I don't know. So here you go. You I, have, I have his better view for you. I've never counted, and there's still uh, many other. There's I still have quite a few that are not even in the cases. So, and I'll leave it at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs>